Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. We are here with Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. This should be very, very interesting. First and foremost, I want to give a big thank you to V Publishing and Grape Ocean Technologies. They were kind enough to send me an early key for this game, which allowed me to poke into some of the systems and try to create some content for you guys before it releases in early access on August 26th. So I'm going to release a couple of videos going through the races, the classes, and some of the attribute systems. But I figured I might as well just go ahead and do a playthrough for you all so that you can see for yourself what the game is like and make a direct decision about whether or not it's something you want to invest in. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to do a full game playthrough. You know, it'll depend upon, is it something that you all want? So definitely leave a like on this video and comment down below if you want more videos, if this looks interesting to you, if there are specific aspects of it that you want me to go deeper into, by all the means, I am more than happy to give you all whatever content you would like. But for now, let's just go ahead and dive in and get a feel for what this game is like. So I'll click on new game and you have the option of going with create a character or choosing your own. Of course, we're going to do our own. Not going to take the lazy way out. I like the loading screens, the little black and white art design. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got a bunch of different options here. I will, again, delve into these more in some later videos that should be on the channel. But for now, I want to be a Rillo because he's black, and he's large, and he's physical, and he's got a little bit of elephant in him. Sounds good to me. Sounds right up my alley. Now, as a Rillo, I cannot be a cleric, winter mage, or a Templar. However, I get a plus two to maximum physique while I do take a negative two to maximum dexterity. Oh well, nothing is perfect. Now what I don't know is what kind of class would I want to be? So you have an option. You could just choose one class, which is going to allow you to level up more quickly, or you could add up to two additional classes to it as well, which is going to slow down how often you level up, but at the same time, give you access to more skills and abilities. We're gonna keep these simple right now because I know very little about this game, so I prefer not to somehow screw it up. Um, let's see, so I could be, so I definitely want someone physical. I guess I could be, go, go ahead and just take a fighter. Versatile profession, what's cleric like? Ah, uh, no. Actually, didn't it say that I can't be a cleric? Right, cleric, winter mage, and templar. That's what you're missing. I don't even know why cleric is in my list. Um. Convoker, Druid, what's Highlander? Hmm, a hardy and strong warriors. Their profession originated in the harsh north. Forged strong warriors, tough enough to resist the elements. They prefer thick armor that doesn't restrict their movement and help them. Uh, that sounds like more dexterity based. I'm gonna go with just pure fighter. Pure fighter. Now my attributes, obviously I want more physique. Is there, a max, is there a cap on how much you could do? 16. That's the maximum you can take. And it is a one-to-one -one ratio as you level them up. Okay, that's cool. Let's focus. Mental strength and resilience. The character's value and focus modifies their aim and accuracy value. Their ability to evade incoming attacks through dodging and blocking. And their efficiency with spells. So do you need... But physique also helps with blocking, right? The ability to evade incoming attacks through blocking. So do you need physique and focus or is physique enough? Hmm. I definitely want charisma. Bargaining skills. Yeah. Do, do, do. I always like to be one of those types of characters who's good at talking. I'm going to assume that since I'm going to be wearing heavy armor, hopefully, and I'm going to have the ability to block that I don't need dexterity, right? Because usually with a heavy armor character, you don't need dexterity. It's agility, modifies their aim and accuracy, and their chance to evade attacks through dodging and parrying. Right, I'm not dodging and parrying, I'm blocking. So it's different. So we'll have to see how this system works. 
totally possible I might end up having to start this whole thing over, y'all. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what? I like the idea of having a 10 in that. We'll leave him unintelligent, lacking in focus, and no supernatural. He's Joe Schmo. Regular old blockhead. Let's see. Let's see how that works. All right, skills and spells. So force, locked doors. More effective against low level locks. Forcing a lock successfully offers a small amount of experience. This rather brutish way of opening them requires far less finesse than a lock pick and is prone to making noise that might attract unwanted attention from the surroundings. But if you don't have anybody who can pick a lock, then you probably need this. Hmm. Company command, officer ability to become the leader of the party. I definitely should be the leader of the party. New types become available as the leader advances. This is affected by charisma, physique, and modifiers. This sounds right up my alley. Outdoors character, outdoor survival. Character becomes more capable of fending for themselves and their allies in the wilderness. No, somebody else should handle that. Enables additional dialogue choices. Man, all, I like all these. <laughs> all of these sound really good. And then here, I definitely want... Yeah, I'm definitely going to take bargaining and persuasion for that. Love having charisma for this. I should be the leader, and I assume it's not a good idea to just level up in all of these. <laughs> so, I'll take command company. And weapons. What do I want to specialize in? Large blades. You know what? I want... Is that long swords? Our average speed weapons, while great swords are very slow, large blades deal mostly slash damage alongside a bit of pulse and blow. I want to go sword and board more than likely. So yeah, large blades. That's fine. And that's all the points, right? Next, appearance. Major color, default, that's fine. Skin color, chestnut is there. Ooh, that doesn't look right. That looks better. That looks best. You know what? Yeah, keep it as is. Um, middle part, long, no. Abs, where is it? Absolutely not. Curtain, I'm not feeling that. Slate back. What's side fringe? That's just weird. Lumberjack. Bald, bald fade, no. Mohawk doesn't look bad. Ball looks a little boring to me. I'm going to go with Mohawk. And so that's round. That's not bad. No. <laughs> that's a little, little much. Absolutely not. Um, no, what was it? Long? Yeah, I'll go with that. I'm good with that. Now, let's see. Mm hmm, hmm. Hey, I like the f I like the art. That definitely works for me. Let's see. I could go with him or him. You know what? He's clean shaven. I got too much hair for that. So yeah, we'll go with this. Awesome. And then finally, oh, they let you suggest a name. That's interesting. And you get voices. Let's see. Hmm. Scoundrel. What? Brute. <laughs> yes. That sounds, the brute sounds like the blockhead we're playing. Let's go ahead and go with that. And let's see. Do, 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 do. Hey, you know what I just realized? He doesn't have any other tusk or anything I have, though. He's just regular old human. Ah, whatever. We're still going to go with it. And okay, let's get started. Be careful of greedy words and actions. Their results can be more insidious than you imagine. So apparently this is supposed to be. Oh, why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? Hmm. Sorry, who are you supposed to be? Har har, 
sorry, you are so very droll. Ugh, you'd better hope Lord Espen is in as good a humor today. You do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting. Ugh, please, don't answer. The Lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. Oh, okay. So I guess they're throwing us right in. You received a request, a quest, go to all, side quest, nothing there. There's nothing there, Capinium. Okay. Greed level, so you're greedy or generous. I don't know yet what kind of character I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna flow with it and see what the world makes me. Global greed level faint, main quest. The whole day was rust, it's the Lord and ladies. I should get inside before I get in trouble with my Lord. I need to report to Belene in the meeting room. Cool. All right. And these are all just regular guards. I like. stand with the king. Good day. Okay, nothing from talking with them. Out of my way. What's there, this quick save, save, pause, fast mode, ooh, fast mode, and settings. All right, and then down here is, what's down here? Inventory, spell book, map, interact, attack, yep, stop, long rest, operations, what's operate? Oh, okay, operations, <laughs> party sheet, cool, and care, wait, party sheet. So there's a party level that you get, adventure XP, cohesion. Cohesion is achieved by playing with a fixed set of adventurers. Cohesion perks revolve around bonuses that reward teamwork and cooperation. Interesting. Diversity. Diversity is achieved by giving all companions some playtime. Diversity perks revolve around letting the party take advantage of their differences and identities. So it's basically a either or thing, I guess. Interesting. How many party members do you get, though? All right, party manager. Of course, this is a party of one, and then you can decide the formation as well. Interesting. We'll play around with this more when we actually have a party member. Yes, yes. Very, very interesting. All right, and those are all, those are all just regular guards. What is the sound? Oh, hey, Sir Galwin, who are you? Oh, dearest Nifra, your eyes are like the pristine waters flowing in this fountain, really clear and wet. Your shining locks, reminiscent of clouds shining in the sky up there above us. Thank you, Sir Gavilon. Your compliments warm my heart, I think. Oh, Nifra, there isn't a lass on this whole estate whose beauty compares with yours. Or, uh... Maybe the country. Yeah, I mean in the whole country. That's very kind of you to say, Sir Gavilon. Your self-confidence is impressive. Listen, my fine Nifra, when I return to the great city of Isselbright, will you accompany me? I vow to treat you like the lady you were never born to be. What is your answer? <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> like the lady you were never born to be? That's it. That's so wrong. <laughs> kind Sir Gavilon, my heart aches to give you to get such an answer, but I'm not ready to marry anyone just yet. Please understand. I simply stepped away from my chores for a moment to catch my breath and stare at the fountain. Now I must return to work. <laughs> oh, wow. We shall crush the rebellion. Mind your manners, servant. Disrespect towards the bright guard will not be tolerated. Oh, so he's a jerk off. He's nice. So. Why well, can't there we go? Okay, those are all just guards. Cat, cat, what is that sound? That sound is a court mage. Hurry it up. Please. Can't you see I'm practicing for tonight's spectacle, Samori Sites? Keep quiet or go somewhere else. Who are you? Hello. The maid servant. Oh. Oh, Samori Sites. I'm trying to watch the show for our mirror's sake. Be quiet. All right. Be 
here for okay. The Espen Mansion. So you're a servant of a noble then? Make haste, some more sex. The guests are waiting. Oh, no, I am going to search around first. Gold. Okay. Oh. Why didn't they pop they didn't pop up before? Bracelet unidentified. Type magical, plus one to focus. Warden half bracelet. I cannot just double click and put it on. Interesting. The Fallen Prince's Tale. There you go. I yes, assume yes. you all don't want me to actually read the books, but if you do, just let me know down in the comments. Infusion of Bear Juice. What does that do? This is a very sweet juice with a surprisingly refreshing aftertaste. Heals the user for 10 hit points over five turns. Okay, there it goes. So that is a health potion. Cool. Verdant Emerald. So, why am I able, I don't have any magical training. What is involved with figuring out how to identify an item? I'm used to, you need a mage or somebody with some sort of magical training in order to be able to do that. That doesn't appear to be the way it works in the game, which makes me wonder, why is there an identify system? Hmm. Light Elven Belt, plus two to aim and accuracy, plus two percent to dodge chance. He will take that for now. I just realized I'm not wearing armor. This so. looks like some sort of robe. The Lord Espen sword. I should probably not touch it. Ooh, a sword right from the very beginning. Dun, 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 dun. What is this? Potion of cure all recipe to neutralize the venom of vile creatures and other sorts of poisons. Combine one portion of pity ring, one portion of red comb in a cauldron, then let them simmer over low heat for eight hours. Okay. Huh? Okay, so that's an identify scroll. This spell lets the user unveil the true nature of an item with unknown or magical properties. So maybe I'm able to identify them because these are low level items, but as I get higher quality items, I'm going to need a scroll in order to be able to do that. Interesting, okay. One of you, potion of healing recipe, okay. supposed to go. That table looks royal. I have a feeling that's where I'm supposed to be. Can I go upstairs? I cannot go upstairs. Okay. Money. Always useful. What is this? Woolen gloves. Plus 15% to cold resistance. I assume I don't have gloves on. that sound? Oh, that's that fire burning. Potion of relaxation. 
potion steadies the user's body, granting a 10% bonus to aim and accuracy on their next attack. Should that attack be successful, the users heal for 5% of their maximum hit points. Interesting. And it also allows the user to make an additional attempt to resist any active hostile arousal effect. Arri arousal effects? <laughs> With a 20%, 25% bonus to resistance to arousal. Interesting. Okay. What's an arousal effect? And who does them? Hit oh, there goes pity ring. Okay. So one of the recipes. Oh, and there goes recall. Okay. I think we picked up some recipes that already referenced them. A pinch of salt, a dash of spice, and a squirt of lemon juice. Done. Hello. Samori Sykes, don't you have somewhere else to be? The Lord and ladies are waiting. I wonder if this is like Deus Ex, where you are punished if you take too long to do certain things. Let's find out. Are they going to be irritated? Oh, there's a lot of people in this room. All right, and here goes Hello, Bella. Hello, at last. Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Woolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virulin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! Okay. Visible containers. There's one. And ale, meat, wine, and mead. Is that where it was? Yep, sure. Close. And okay. Do, 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 do. Wallcraft and Larenthal prefer wine. Hello there. Oh, the staff. I was starting to wonder if you'd all fallen ill with the plague or something. <laughs> Your wine, Lord Wallcraft. Huh. Jeez. Who's the other one? Larenthal. Hello. Yes, yes, get on with it. Your wine, Lady Larenthal. I suppose you expect me to toss you a coin for doing your job. Jeez. And Lord Jorn would like ale? Hello? Well? Your ale, Lord Jorn. Oh, you know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. No, of course you don't. <laughs> And then Verlin and Espen want mead. Where's Verlin? Here we go. Hello. Faster. Ugh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat is sorely parched. Your mead, Lady Verlin. Just what I wanted for a change. All right, and I think we're safe. Don't know what's about to happen here. Hmm. You're here, finally. Oh, uh, what do you want? Mead, right? Your mead, Lord Espen. Ah, good. Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with their own board. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmoral. I don't like this dirty business. Sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimeril nobility, most recently Aldnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virulin not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Oh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of, uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the Southern Nobles have many legitimate complaints. 
heavy. Some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the King's insistence that Daron Ghoul's military, e even the Town Watch, must be trained in the North. It's quite a list. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed? <laughs> Oh my! What exceptional nonsense! <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isilbright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war. A much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Wise counsel, my friend, but I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Daron Gould. Or throw in with the rebels. They have the gold, they have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. You there, what is your opinion on recent developments? You're asking the errand boy? What does- Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Larenfall. Well, speak up. A peaceful solution must always be best, especially if the only point of contention is money. Very noble of you. I agree that the value of gold must be held cheap against the value of doing the honorable thing. Earthquake? Here? My Make ladies, Linda my lords, us. we are under attack. Please, take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. Under attack by whom? They make no secret of their allegiance. They fly the banners of Daron Gould. Did you see anything else? Do we know who leads them? That one was far at the back. All I could see of him was his vibrant red hair like a flame. Oh, Dana. How much time do we have? Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already... Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare, right? Calmly. My friends, let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf if it's of any use. You? What? Where are you going? Come with me. Make haste. This way. Okay. You and you lot with me. But what is it, my lord? That sound! The main gate has already been breached. The House of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Daron Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, you've always been a first-rate skulker at Key Halls. Yes, your weird hobbies are no secret to me. Best not face on soldiers head on. But, do what you can. Okay. Can I save? I cannot save. Oh. Ah! 
Ah. You're engaged in combat. You can issue a command to attack enemies to your character by clicking them on in the game world. You can also attack both hostile and non-hostile creatures by picking the sword icon. Or pressing left control on your keyboard. Okay, cool. I'm going. But I don't have a sword. Okay. Why can't I there we go? How am I missing with all that strength I started out with? Come on now. Why is this elf beating me beating me to pieces? What was that? A stiff uh, breeze? Are they all dead? Hold up. Oh, I was about to say, I thought that was the Lord over there. All right. Apparently this is just not gonna happen. There we go. Loot all this. Out of my way. Okay. Two-handed sword. Ooh. Plus one percent critical chance. Chance to inflict inspired on hit. One percent. I'll take that. I'll take one of these as well. Give myself some protection. No body armor. All them bodies. <laughs> All right. Um. That helmet that I picked up was better. That's fine. Close. Now where are they? Still can't save. This way, they're not getting past us, okay? Oh, hey. I'm gonna let y'all deal with them first. There we go. You cannot stand against me, so. I did not want to come over here. Nope, let them handle it first. Then I'll get involved. How dare you attack me when all of them are standing there? There we go. Oh no. Excellent. Excellent. Take all this too. I'll assess it later on. Guard this door with your life. Samori Sykes, come with me. said I'm caring too much, huh? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I just never know when. That's fine, that's fine. Infantry army sword. So what I have is definitely better. I assume the claymore is better to sell, right? What is this? This is a base price of 30. That's a base price of 55. Exactly. So we're hanging on to those. All right. That should give me enough, enough weight to work with. And still cannot save. Where did he go? That door is closed. Yes, yes. There we are. Now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life, my one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. What? <laughs> We're talking about this now? <laughs> uh, my lord, it sounds like the fight is coming to us. Perhaps we best ready ourselves. Be quiet, I tell you. You never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember, but if you had, she gods damn these derongold swine behind me is my dressing chamber go fetch my sword from there at once my lord time is short hurry okay search all the rooms leave none alive as you command, Lord Almer. 
No, please, cowards! Found you at last, father. Didn't figure you would try and hide from your fate. Yo, that art, the way he looks, wild. I, there is no way I'm siding with this dude. Holy smokes, he looks evil. To be betrayed by my own son. Who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end? I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and men-at-arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective. Seen the truth of this world. So, you were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house. Only pretty words. Kill me if you wish. But I promise it will avail you nothing. Every man pays for his sins, my son. And the price of a sin such as this... Well... Enough of your piety! It sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still, father. Some more sights. Wow. That is... Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. Interesting. I like that beginning. I didn't like the first half of it with the nobles around the table. I'm like, don't don't jargon at me when I don't understand Get what's going on. Lazy boy. It's time to go to bed. But the second half of it with all of them getting murdered and setting up more mysteries, that was very cool. I enjoyed that. Um, let's see. Lord Espen, he I have to go back. Oh, come now. You'll be staying right here by hut. It looks like you suffered a nasty blow to the head. You don't understand. I have to save Lord Espen. There was an attack and... Oh, hush, child. There's nothing you can do for him now. But no more questions for tonight. There's a cot over there. You should try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be a very, very long day. You can send your character to rest by clicking the long rest button. Resting will replenish some of your character's health. Some of your character's health. Restore spells and ability uses. Beware, though. Sleeping out in the wilds comes with the risk of attracting the beast and rough faces of the area. Seeking out and sleeping at inns is a safer and more comfortable option. It makes sense. Standard stuff. Am I not able to unpause? Wake there up. Go. Lazy. Always sleeping, this one. Must have been raised by dream wraiths. Um. Excuse me? I was raised by. Oh no. He's. That is a ghoul. More dead, actually. Now, how about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? Hold on, I have some questions for you before I give you any help. Very well, ask your questions, but be warned. I can't guarantee you the answers you're hoping for. How did I end up here, really? Well, if you must know, you were about to die. So I whisk you away to hide my little hideaway in the forest. And would you believe it? Now you're not about to die. <laughs> Did you know Lord Espen? Yes, yes, after a manner of speaking, I knew him. A good man, but a bad father. Get that look off your face. His own son killed him. He can't have been much of a patriarch. <laughs> who are you? Just an old witch who likes her privacy. Before you ask, no, I don't intend on turning you into a fox. Can't you tell I'm grieving? My liege was killed by his own son, Aldnar. Busy hands will dry your tears, boy. Now, I'll be making a stew this evening. You'll be helping. I'll need you to go find some things for us. Take a look at this list. Once you've read it, let me know, please. Barney has gained an item ingredient list. A handful of bruised root. 
one brown stem mushroom, a slab of fox meat. Oh, good, good, you know how to read. I have something that will help you gather what we need without hurting yourself too much. Here, put these on. You were given an item with special attributes. When worn, such items may modify your character's attributes, skills, or even grant them entirely new spells and abilities. And okay. Bra brewing and drank. Good. You put your gloves on just like the rest of us, all fingers at the same time. You weren't trying to put them on one finger at a time, were you? Good, good. Now, off with you. When you've got everything on the list, come back, and I'll get to making that stew. By the way, be careful of the creatures in the forest. They can be a bit bitey. Take this stuff as well. It should come handy, should you need to protect yourself. Staff. Traveler's cane. I'm not good with rods and staff, so I'll leave that alone. All right, this seems like a good place to save. Okay. Out of my way. I still don't have any good armor, right? So I'm wearing the best stuff that I have access to. It is what it is. Alright, let's go. Let's brave the wilds. Zoom out. Health potion, and what's this? Potion of cure all. I don't remember what that does. Oh, uh oh, oh. I think that's the one that uh, gives me poison, right? Let's turn on fast mode. What's this? Moon glider. Right. Looks like something that's used for brewing potions. More moon lighter. Hey, fox. We need fox. Oh, crush him. On the bottom left of your screen above your character's portrait, you can see a set of quick slots that can be used to perform various actions. You can order attacks and movement, use your character's various skills and consumable items. Spellscaster characters will also find their memorized spell among the quick slots. Try using an offensive spell or a quick weapon against a fox around in the area. That's what I'm doing. And we get fox meat and animal pelt. Awesome. Okay. And there's little spiders running around. Usually spiders are not of note. I assume that means they're going to be hostile. Nope. This is a forest spider, that's a forest spider. They're leaving me alone, that works for me. What are those things? White Rither. Yes, yes. Marked in blue, I don't have to do anything with them. And those are yellow spiders, okay. Moon glider. What's this? Same deal, moon glider. Fox. I only needed one, um, Slab meat, slab of meat, right? And a portion of fox meat. I assume that one is enough for a portion. Whoa, that's popping you up around. Cannot stand against me. This plus attacking me, a yellow spider. Okay, so the yellow spiders start out blue, but they can become hostile. Bruiser root. Excellent. Okay, got what I need from that. And there's a bridge there. Hmm. So it tells me don't go over the bridge. There's a yellow spider. What's this? Brown stem mushroom. Restoring. Calming. Okay. I'm going to hit you before you hit me this time. How about that? Got dug it. Yeah. And okay, so that was blocked. So let's see. Hmm. doesn't tell me like if I blocked it well or if I almost you wasn't able so. to block it 
I'm trying to get a gauge for whether or not my build is actually competent. Agotha's Weevil, heat level for brewing, poisonous, trial traits for brewing, quickening. Interesting, okay. I see you, yellow spider. I'll come back for you. Don't you worry. All right, yellow spider there. Blood and bone! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a battle cry for real. I like that. I like that. Good voice. Good voice choice. Yeah. Yep. This is all working for me. And these little, these little scrubs are all being blocked and taken care of effectively. I'm appreciating this so far. It's working for me so far. All right. That's the end of the screen. Oh, you know what? Ooh. I like the map. Yeah, and it gives you little little markers. Yeah, the map is good stuff. Okay. Um, Thirsty work. That's kind of the thing with me. I hate crappy maps where looking at it barely tells you where you are, what you're, where you're supposed to be going. So I appreciate that. That's a little, one of those little faro spiders. Didn't have to worry about that. Okay, and I missed one section, right? I'm not going... Wait, did I get everything? I've got all the ingredients. Right, right, right. Okay, cool. So I'm good on good on what she needed. And you can get everything you need. she needed while staying on this side, which says to me, you should not go over the bridge until you're ready to leave. I'd say it. There we go. I saw you, and I, and I promised I'd come by and, and deal with you. Whoa. Ooh, that, is that supposed to be like a nightlight? That's awesome. You'll pay for that! Oh, I'm bleeding. That's not good. What was that? Ooh, that's, oh, freeze. that's poison. Oh, so I could have, I could have taken that little poison that um that protects against poison and keep You'll that from happening. For that. Interesting. Oh, that's really cool. Um, I am not clear if I get closer. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So the areas you're in will kind of change based upon what time of day you're in. That's cool. Feel free to take a rest if you need. Ah, the hero returns. And with the fresh harvest. It's all there, yes. Perfect. Um, how can you tell what's in my pack and what isn't? Oh, let's say it's just a feeling. Like everything is where it should be. Or if this is easier to accept, I've spent many long days sniffing around. So my nose knows. Now that I've gotten what you need, I have more questions about what's going on here. No, no. Let's get the pot boiling first, and then... What? What's this? Did you forget to make these herbs edible, child? Come now, you must try them to bring out the flavor. Surely you've cooked before. This voice acting is great for her. <laughs> I just felt okay with the voice acting for the nobles, but whoever's doing her voice is great. I have to wonder what that Lord Espen even had your tutors teach you at his fancy estate. Oh, oh well, take this candle and get to drying. <laughs> Then crush the dried herbs into powder, so we have something to season the stew with. Various materials collected in the world may serve as ingredients for crafting. Plants, mushrooms, fruits, and insects can be brewed into potions or dried and crushed into powder. Besides the fresh materials, you need tools to perform these actions, a cauldron for brewing, and a heat source like candles or a lantern for drying. Okay? To begin drying, first you need to open your inventory screen. Now select the drying tab. On the top of the drying tab, you can see your collection of ingredients and heating devices. To switch between the two, click the leaf or cauldron buttons. So I'm on leaf right now, click the cauldron. You can click on these items and move them to their appropriate slots on the drying panel below. You can dry up to three ingredients at the same time with a heating device. Once you have placed a heating device and at least one dryable ingredient on the panel, you can start the process. All right, so I have a heating device, but I have nothing 
to heat. What is the problem? Oh, oh, okay. And then, oh, I see. I see heat of ice and then agrees. Okay, cool. cool. Um, now, she wanted us to heat up what? It was the bruised root, brownstone, and what? Oh, I think that's all. And then, there we go. Now, click the start drying button to continue. Okay, so it's in the process, close. Besides replenishing health and restoring spell and ability uses, a long rest will also finish all your brewing and drying tasks. Click the button to start drying. Okay, so if you want to dry an ingredient, you need to have a heating source, you need to heat it up, it's gonna dry it into something which must be done overnight. Okay, interesting. You can collect your dried ingredients from your inventory by using the drying panel again. So go back to drying and you will see that your candle was consumed if you used one during the process and your fresh ingredients have all turned into dried versions. You can then click the start crushing button on the bottom of the drying panel to press the ingredients. So there are other heating sources maybe you can get that will allow you to heat more than once. I think they mentioned a lantern, right? So I assume maybe a lantern isn't used every time? We'll find out. What? Okay. So is it finished? Have you run out of candles, my dear? Here, take another. I successfully dried and crushed the bruised root and the brownstone mushroom into powder. Okay. Good, good, well and dried. Give me just a moment and... There, it's on the fire. Now we have a few precious moments to spare. We should talk. About talking. <laughs> talk about talking. What do you mean? What do you think I mean, child? Um. Hmm. There's never enough time, and our time would be better served by discussing matters of import, bargain, and persuasion. Ah, I knew investing in that would be a good idea. Let's do that. Very good. I think you already have the hang of it. But in case that was a fluke, the idea is this. Taking the time and effort to gain knowledge, or even learning to talk, will greatly benefit you in the difficult times ahead. Play close attention to what you might uncover in conversations through wit or charm. Thank you. That's a valuable lesson. I'm glad you find it to be. Now, I'm certain you have more questions. Perhaps I could continue being instructive. Why did you save me from the assault on the Espen estate? I kept an eye on Lord Espen. He was a force of balance in Isomereld. His death means that balance has failed. And it so happens that I have a soft spot for young people of potential. You were in the wrong place at the right time, and I saw a chance to aid you. Why is it that you're keeping me here and making me do all of this? You weren't ready for Aldnard's attack on his father's manor, and I don't believe you were ready for the chaos of the world as it was when I pulled you from it. You're here to keep you safe and to make sure that you're ready for the next calamity you find yourself in. Who are you, really? I'm afraid that is the one question I can't answer for you. It's easy to say that I am someone you were meant to meet. I'm here to set you on your way towards what you must accomplish. What is it that I must accomplish? Pardon me, I misspoke. There are two questions I cannot answer for you. <laughs> this is awesome. Is the stew almost ready? Ah, yes, yes. Almost ready indeed. Now, now there's something you should know. <laughs> when you leave here, the world you knew yesterday will be gone. Gone? 
What do you mean? The attack on the Espen estate was only the first spark of a consuming fire, I am afraid. Much will be lost to strife and war. There are worse things than war, though. There is something you must understand before you leave here. A great and terrible curse has fallen over Isilmerald and much of the rest of Yerengal. It drives men and women to madness. It starves the prince and turns the papa to a life of desperation. It is the essence of avarice itself. A curse of greed spreads through the land. Greed? What do you mean? A terrible covetousness that hides in mortal hearts. It is among the darkest of dreams. But this is no normal greed, no. There is magic behind it. No mere apprentices catch up either. It is most dangerous, and you must understand that. Ah, the stew is done now. Just let it cool. Ah, getting a good look at you now. You're a bit of a fighter, aren't you? Born and trained. Aye, you have the rippling muscles and cocksurety. The real test of a warrior isn't confidence or muscle. To stay alive long enough to become a veteran, you need a brain. Now, see that chest over there in the corner? It's locked. And you don't look like the kind of boy who spent a lot of time fiddling with mechanics. Go open it for me. The chest you need to open is locked. The force locks and doors skill can be used to open it up. To use your skill, open the skills bar above the portrait row. Then click the force lock button to begin using this skill. Makes sense to me. You can see that your cursor changed to match the skill your character is using. Click on the chest by the wall to open it. Sure. The chest you... Oh, that's the same thing we did before. Aha! Don't worry, child. There is treasure inside, but we'll have to get past the beastie to get to it. Now, I'll be joining you for a short while to make sure you don't stab yourself anywhere that won't grow back. If you want to learn to inspire your allies to follow your orders, it's important that you practice. Tell me what you want me to do as we fight. Oh, okay. The character can become the leader of your party by using the Command Company skill. Click the skills bar above the portrait row. Then click the Command Company button to open the commander's panel. What? You can select a commander perk for your character on the drop-down menu of the panel. This perk will apply passive bonuses to your entire party. To apply these bonuses, you first need to set your character as the commander of your party. Click the Set as Commander button to do that. Once your commander is set, you can close the commander panel by right-clicking on the Command Company button. To apply the commander perk you selected, the party needs to rest together, training for the tactics the commander chose. Click the Long Rest button to finalize your choices. Hit and Run, Phalanx, Hunters in the Dark, Base of Action, Havoc, Wolf Pack. But how do I know what each one does? Or is these just standard <laughs> military jargon? And if I knew what a phalanx military advance meant, I'd just know what this does. I need descriptions. I need answers. Okay. Um, I don't like the idea of hit and run. I'm not a hit. You know what? I'm going wolf pack. I don't even know what that means, but I just like the sound of it. Sounds like NWO. I'm Kevin Nash. Y'all all following behind me. Let's go. Set his commander. Okay, so now we're all one big party together, right? And I've selected all of them, and now we need to get past the beastie. Cool. Very good. You are learning your way around a fight. Remember that you often won't be alone on the battlefield. Now, what was it that we... Ah, yes. Aha, we've done it. The stew is cooked and cooled. Here, boy. This will warm you up after a long, long day. I see that look in your eye again. No, no more questions for today. Eat your stew and get some rest. 
Okay. Oh, finally. Actual armor. I assume... Hmm. In some ways better, in some ways not nearly as good. Uh, we're still going to take it. And it at least looks like armor. Oh, did I loot this? Oh, no, 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 no. There's a bunch of things here. What's this? Old base. Invigorating and warming. Okay. Powder of annoyance. <laughs> okay. And we did that before. We've seen that. Oh, what's this? Healing potion and cure all. That's cure all. All right. I guess poison is very common in this game. Oh, infusion of berry juice recipe. That's cool, too. Yes, yes. All right. And they said I need to rest, right? Good morning. I fear that our time together is nearing an end. Thank you for all of your help. No, no. It is no great thing. I needed to be certain you were ready to face the world. What's going on out in the world that I need to be ready for? Oh, conflict is to be expected everywhere you go. Great things are coming. More I cannot say. No, no. So does that mean I am ready? Oh, yes, yes. As ready as one could be. Is that all? Yes, that is the gist of it. Things were put in motion all over Yerengel since I plucked you from your father's house. My father, yes, Lord Espen. Interesting. No, I won't explain to you how it happened. Um, but why didn't he tell me? Oh, I cannot say. No, no, he had his reasons. Also, there's a reason Lord has been paid you so much attention, despite your servitude. The other servants surely did not receive the same education or the same favors, nor did anyone else in his house, excepting your half-brother, Alnar. Oh, gods, he killed our father. He did, and that is the world I must send you back into, one where the sole heir of Lord Espen committed patricide, one unaware yet hostile to your existence. Hmm. No, I'm not going to be overwhelmed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I want to know about the curse. This is all too much. I have no idea where I am. My father was Lord Espen, and the curse of greed you mentioned before. No, I'm not losing it. Thank you again for the sage advice. Whatever's happening, I'm going to handle it. Now you must go face the world, some more sights. I have enjoyed our time together. You will find the path clear. Be safe, my child. All right. Ho-ho! Your character has gained enough experience to level up. Click the icon that appeared on their character portrait to start the process. Where's the fight? Where's the fight? Okay. Bargaining, persuade, persuasion, more than likely, right? Because this is all about scrolls and spells and whatnot. Yeah, I'm good. Bargain for school. And persuasion it is. Class skill. Season warrior helps with dialogue. And you know what? Hopefully I get someone who can just open up locks and I don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to go with command company. What does it actually do? New tactics become available as the leader advances. The bonuses gained remain active until another tactic is selected. Yeah, and it's affected by Charisma and Physique, which I specialize in. All right. Weapons. I like large blades. Spells and abilities. Challenging how. This ability draws the attention of target creature over to the user with a horrible shout. That creature will focus the user with its attacks for two rounds. This ability sends its target into a prolonged state of frenzy. Warriors who rely on primal might train rigorously to be... I'm able to summon their inner range. Is it supposed to be inner rage at will? Grants enrage and indomitability to the target for several turns. But what does that mean? Enrage and indomitability. I need to understand better. The user of this ability attempts a range attack. I'm not doing range attacks. The user of this ability enters a vigilant posture, enhancing their defensive capabilities. The user is granted anticipation, firm stand, and steadiness. Sounds like a winner. 
waylay. The user with this ability attempts a disabling attack against a target. That aims to prevent their movement. The user's next attack inflicts a status effect on his target, depending on the weapon's main damage component. So, slow for slash, immobilize for piercing, and knock down for pulse and blow. I'm slash, I believe, which means my enemies would be slow, which doesn't help me much because most of the enemies I face would be, I'd be going toe to toe with anyway, right? So, I'd say vigilance is where it's at. How long does it last though? Hmm, doesn't say how long it lasts. It just says it grants you this, a vigilant posture. So you can just walk around in this posture, maybe. All right, and I'm leveled up. Anything from here that I haven't already? Doesn't look like I need anything there. All right. If you say so. Yeah, I looted all that. She Feel doesn't say free anything to else, right? Be safe, my child. All right. Over the bridge we shall go. Oh, it's still nighttime, huh? Hey, this is yellow. Out of my way. Fast. Is that how you leave, I assume? Okay, so I have the Merchant's Road. Now, is it like Pathfinder where you have to go to every corner where you have this because different corners illuminate different things? Let's make sure. And I don't see anything extra here. Hmm. Hard lines here. Kingdom of Ismerald. What else is here? There's a mansion. Espenis. Oh, that's the Espen estate that I was at. Oh, so I'm quite a ways away from that. Lands of Zidasuda. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. All right. Okay. Well, I don't want to leave here without going over the bridge. Could be a party member there for all I know. Yeah, how long do you have to end up Going around by yourself. Yes, yes. I'm a, I'm a party kind of guy. Yep. Okay, and this is the edge. Anything here? Anything here? Anything here? Nope. I need to look at those things and actually see if it's what I can get that's useful from those. Seems like the game gives you a lot of them. I assume it's not particularly to my advantage to continue killing foxes for no reason. So I'm going to avoid that. All right, this is the bottom. Those things are, non, are not automatically hostile, as I recall. Good on that. Ooh. What are you? Ooh. So there are undead in this game. Um, this is the only thing I have skills. Well, let's just see what happens. Oh, crush him. I don't want to start using my ability for one. No oh, he's badly injured. Oh, yeah, you a scrub. You a scrub. What was you doing? Nice. Say so. Any more of you? Any more of your cousins over here? Like oh, this. All right, we're good. Let's save that. Let's go to the next place. Merchant's Road. Mer Merchant's Road. I like the art, but why does it always say the same thing at, at the bottom? They need to, they're going to need to add some more variety. I want more little tidbits about the world. Okay, we're at Merchant's Road. And Fog of War is on. Yeah, this is giving me Pillars, pillars of Eternity vibes in a good way. All right. Whoa. Okay. And this is definitely a hostile area. 
You are hmm, wolves travel in packs, but I don't see you with anybody else. So let's just go ahead. Oh, I should have known. And you're down. Oh, yeah. Oh, he doesn't realize that his partner's getting screwed over. Hey, what's this? Shockwing. Poisonous knot. Okay. And you. Give you the same treatment. What was Ooh. that? Stiff breeze. You're not uh you're not as much as a pushover as your buddy. Okay. Oh. I didn't loot you properly, my bad. Alright. Come on. Forest spider. Ooh, what's this? Blade weed. It's for strengthening and bracing. Okay. Yes, yes. Man, I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. You cannot stand against me. Oh, God, dog it! I should have. I should have waited. Ooh, or not? Holy smokes! Oh, handle business. Okay, no need to wait. Excellent. All right, so far so good as far as the build, y'all. Um, let's go a little bit out here. Butterflies. Also, oh, there's a road. Road less traveled. Oh, what is? Da -da 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 -da. Whoa, you all got annihilated. All right, there might be a boss up there. You say so. Approach with caution. No red, no red. No red, no red. And he's marked as blue. Hmm. Let's see. I'm listening. I'm sorry, sighted it. <laughs> Did you have some part in this? No. The wars of men are none of mine. Praise the stone. I am Helgenha. Call me Helga, that's too much of a mouthful. Oh, so you're a dwarf. Okay. So the wars of men. Do you know why they were fighting? Not a serious question. Even a league beneath the Skag Mountains, everyone knows of the war. I see some in the library of Isselbright, and their foes are also in uniform, and therefore not bandits or fugitives. I have this because I have seasoned warrior. Awesome. You're a man of war then, and lucky to wear no such library yourself. Anyway, this was one of the smaller battles between the Silbright and Jaragul. Since we're on the same road, why don't we walk it together? I was thinking the same thing myself, but by both habit and predilection, I am always careful of my companions. Tell me what brings you out on this desolate road alone. Sure. Well, a series of very confusing events, to be honest. Tell them your story. Well, that's quite a tale. If I was a bard, I'd be taking notes right now. Huh. It stands to reason that with your father dead, you are the heir to his estate. I'm not quite sure what I should do about the estate. If only there was somewhere all my questions could be resolved. This is the road to Asilbright, capital of Asilmarit, and also the world capital of noble titles. Hmm. Yes, it seems the question of my legacy must be answered there, if anywhere. Hmm. Seems like as good a place as any to go. Care to join me? Excellent. Onwards to a Silbright. All right. So I have a companion now. I'm listening. So my companion is also oh, level two. Head. He's male. He's a fighter. Mm. Two fighters, huh? Oh, what do you mean? Word to the wise. Oh, when you start the game, maybe you make something other than a fighter if you're already going to have a fighter. But then again, who knows? This guy end up might end up being a jerkwad that I have to kill. Um, let's see, he's a dwarf. He's got 15 on physique, 10 on dexterity. Oh, that's not good. The fact that the gang gives you somebody with 10 on dexterity makes me think that they believe if you're going to be a physical character who's up front, you should have dexterity. 
which is not the interpretation I got from looking at the description, but whatever, we're gonna roll with this. If I have to start over, I have to start over. Um, not much intelligence, little bit of focus, little, actually, you know, he's got pretty good focus, but just a little bit of charisma, no supernatural. Um, general skills, he specializes in bargaining persuasion. I specialize in bargaining persuasion. Great. Okay, but you know what? No, I don't want my character with learning and research or brewing and drying, so it's still fine. He also specializes in Season Warrior. He also has a little bit of Force Locks and Doors, a little bit of Command Company. This is actually fine, because I'm going to specialize in Command Company, so he can continue to level up in Season Warrior. And I'm still holding out hope that somebody in the party that I get is going to actually be able to pick lock doors and chests. And then weapons. He specializes in battle axes. That's good with me. I prefer long swords. We could do bows and arrows. We're not. And he also likes war clubs and hammers. Okay. So not bad. Not bad at all. Um, what do you already have? So you have... You have battle axe and you have a wooden heater shield. You have boots, you have armor, but you don't have anything on your head. You don't have any gloves. So I should be able to give you something, right? Yep. Put that on your head. And do I have any gloves? Yeah, but, oh, wait, wait. Mine are for brewing and drying. This is cold resistance. I want that and I'm not gonna give these to him because he can't do no brewing and drying. So what's the point? Um. And yeah, I don't think I have any better, I don't have any better stuff for you. But you can hold on to some of this other stuff that's been weighing me down, though. Tell me out that way. There we go. Yeah, take all that, take all that. Good stuff. You need healing Whatever potions? You, say, you do, you don't have any healing point. potions. I only have one healing potion? Crap. All right, I need to at some point start either making some more or hopefully buying some when we go to this Merlo town. Um, all right, I think that puts me in a good spot. Something you want flashed. All right. What's going on here? Oh, real armor. Real boots and a candle. I'll take it. What else? What's going on over here? Real armor again. Yes. I'm slow because I'm weighed down too much. That's fine. I'll deal with that in just a sec. Whatever that is. And, hey, three of these. I don't need the third one more than likely. Okay. Finally. Chain mail. Put that chain mail on you too. I'll take these boots, more than likely. Heat and cold, but better at everything else. Yep, I'll take these. And I'll give you some boots. Did I pick up a helmet? No, the helmet looks the same. Actually, though, the helmet might be better than what the, I gave them. Oh, I never put a helmet on. Right, yep, that's the better helmet. How's this in comparison to the arm? Ooh. His armor is better for slashing, but it's worse at everything else, so we're still giving you this. Excellent. Where's the fight? And I'm gonna let you hold on to this. How's your weight looking? Mm, nope, that's not gonna work. How much weight is this? 20? Yeah, we're gonna drop this. Where's the wheel? Yes, Give me these boots. Take that off my hands. Excellent. Okay. I'm going. What? And that's the same stuff. Nope, don't need that. Excellent. Feel very much upgraded right now. Oh, oh, okay. I've got one of these at the bottom here. So first let's go towards the bottom. See what we can unlock from there. Oh, and I'm sorry. Formation. Do I need to change anything with that? What is the problem? Oh, do I need a, this formation like in the party thing, right? Is that the problem? Formation and behavior. Here we go. Sure. Uh, um, I am aggressive. 
use it. And I am not passive. I am tank. And you are same deal. Aggressive in combat. Sure, use whatever. I don't care about this stuff yet. Uh, you'll be, actually, you'll be tank. I'll be damage dealer. Oops. Damage. There we go. Now. 44% diversity. How? We're the same freaking class, but okay. Oh, no, that's about, like, who you switch in and out and that kind of stuff. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, also, Something I am the commander, bashed. right? Where is that at? Here we go. Command company. Absolutely not. I said Wolfpack. Thank you very much. All right. And then how do I get out of it? What the hell? How do I you turn? So. How do I then Whatever turn off nice. this? Wait, no, no, no. Yes, yes. How do I then? What? Something you want bashed? Uh, does that menu just stay up the whole time? If you have that selected, I'm a little confused. And why is it every time I hit it, it goes back to hit and run? You know, we're just gonna leave it a hit and run and be done with it. Fine. But I do want it to disappear. Let's see what happens if we just go Where's the fight? I'm going. Da -da -da -da. Whoa. What are you? A forest kobold. Blood and bone! <laughs> Shredded and your boys don't realize you need help. Mm -mm -mm. It's a crying shame. All right, we're gonna deal with you too. Oh yeah. You'll pay for that. Oh, oh, oh man, he hit me bad. Okay. What's this? Dried ash tick and round stone. Excellent. Okay. All right. So maybe this is supposed to just stay on. In which case, we'll just turn it to wolf pack and leave it there. I'll get used to it. Oh, no, no. Don't, don't, no. Thirsty work. Mm -hmm. Are they guard? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, crap. No, He actually hit me. God, dug it. I forgot. I was supposed to check, um, fast. What do we have access to? This is the gates. Screaming barrels. Screaming barrels sounds dangerous. We'll avoid that for now and instead head towards the city gates. Hey, <laughs> that does not sound like a place that is welcoming of visitors. Now the gates are available to us. Awesome. Who are you? Another party member? Hello. Good day, kind sir. On your way to Ilsa Bright, I warn. A wise choice given the circumstances. It's been several days since I fled Darren Gold. I was already doubtful of our chances against Ilsa Bright before the council decided to make its move. But when the plague struck, I can be certain I was on the wrong side. What plague? How can you not have heard? Have you been living at the bottom of the sea? Darren Gold declared war on Isselbright a few days back and has already gained a foothold in the south of the kingdom. Militarily, it was quite the feat. But a terrible illness began to rage across the city almost immediately thereafter. Citizens had been taking to their beds several weeks before, but no one thought it was serious. Now they've begun taking to their graves and then the dozens. I took that as a sign to leave town. But don't you go calling me a coward. A merchant has no true home anyway. That's how I look at it. And you know, I managed to bring some of my wares with me from Darren Gold. Care to take a look? 
What are you selling? Goods for travelers, mostly. I used to deal in weapons, too, but that stock I was able to move quickly back to Darren Gold when war was declared. But not to worry. I intend to put out feelers in Isselbright and rebuild my business post-haste. Until then, feel free to browse what I have. I'm sure you'll find something to your liking. Show me what you have, Gavin. Right away. Okay. You are browsing a merchant's inventory. You can see their stock on the left side of the screen. While you select the character's inventory, it can be seen on the right. You can switch between party member inventories using the drop down on the right. You can also filter the merchant's stock using the item category buttons on the top left. Try using the all filter to display all items this merchant has. Cool. Battle Roar. What's this about? 20% bonus to damage and a 5% bonus to resistance to pain and strain, pulse and blow, slashing and stabbing for 15 seconds. That is good stuff. When it's only 12 cent and I only have 30 GAP, so no. But actually, I could sell. Hmm, I have two animal pets, but it only let pelts, but it only lets me sell them one at a time. Okay. Wait a minute, why does it seem like that, actually? Yes, two. So, why does it seem like they're disappearing? So. So, oh. Okay. So, alrighty then. Fine leather belt. I actually didn't look at this. Plus two to evasion. Okay, so there is something to this. I won't sell this just yet. Oh, I have more light armor. Oh, that's the one that I replaced. Keen battle axe. God dog it. Well, yeah, his stuff is definitely all sell. Except the bow. Might run into somebody who needs that. Some, we can't have everybody just being up right up front. Unidentified staff, so I'll keep that. Serving gems, and I'll sell that. Thick boots, traveler's cane, I doubt. I'll run into somebody who can actually make use of that. Are you supposed to hold on to books? I assume I can sell these books. Okay, now I have 802 GP to work with. That's a different story. All right, first. Shepherd's sling. Slings and fusta balls. Hmm, six price? I'm gonna buy that. Just in case. Armor. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, he had plenty of that. We'll get back to that in just a moment. He has a quantity of five of this. What's miscellaneous stuff I sold to him? I've already got two candles, don't need that. But I like this potion, I'm gonna buy that potion. Definitely, I want all the healing. That's 72 GP, yeah, we'll take that. What's this about again? Oh, you hit a person and you get some potions, some uh, points back, I'm good. Potions of Secrets. For 60 seconds, grants the user a plus 50% bonus to learning and research. Additionally, the user may see strange things in unexpected places. That sounds fascinating. Um, I'll buy one of these just in case I find a situation where I need it for kicks. For 15 seconds, any melee attacks against the user will trigger a small burst of lightning to reflect back on the attacker, dealing 2 to 12 damage. That sounds great. I'm going to get two of those. Okay. Oh, and isn't berry juice also? Yeah, berry juice is also he uh, healing. So we're going to take that. And I've got plenty of cure all, so that should be fine. Okay. Close. So you are not a party member, unfortunately. Where do I get more party members? Out of my way. Come on. All right. Oh, anything revealed at the top? Probably not. I came for the hidden cabin, so yeah, that makes sense. Going a little too fast. Let's make sure we don't run right into some uh, unfortunate people. Ooh, it's 
speaking of which, what are you? Oh, you're just Let's a wolf? Let's see what you're made of. Show you. I thought I saw black. There we go. Obliterate you. More pelts to sell. Ah, oh, there goes your buddy. You're down as well. Come on. All right, animal pelt. Let's see, he's one of the little bugs. Okay. Four spiders still. Thirsty work. Oh. Ooh, kobolds. Four is kobolds. Okay. And they're all. There we go. Yeah, separate. Uh, they're not really separating though. Yeah, you're down. Yeah, you're down. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. What's this? Hand of Mercy. Hey, what's weak? Heals a user for seven points. Interesting. And what's Hand of Mercy? Natural energy issues forth from the caster's hands to heal their target. The target is healed for 15 health points. Oh, nice. Okay. Save that. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you say so. I don't know how I feel about the music overall in the game, but I like this little tune. This is a nice, uh, a nice peaceful. Hey, let's let's walk around and and find something new and go on an adventure type of track. I'm feeling this. All right, and then this middle part is all that's left. We are good. Okay, we've searched through that whole map. Let's enter into the city. And go into the gates. Be careful. Oh, same thing. Isabright gates. Okay. regular people standing around then it couldn't be that dangerous so I put on fast yeah what can what goes out here hidden cabin still oh there's some other things on the map Market Street Castle District Warden Haft and Greybark okay interesting nothing here child come on Traveler. Ooh, things are so expensive inside these walls. Oh, it's night again. Okay. Adventurer. Right, adventurer. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And yeah, there's an island out there, but otherwise, let's go. Just go up to the gates. Let's go. See? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Commoner, commoner, commoner. What's the deal? Stand to there. What's your business in the capital? Not a merchant by the look of it. I'm looking for work as a mercenary, seasoned warrior. Sure, why not? Is that so? A strong arm is always welcome here, as long as you're fighting for the right side. What are your feelings about the Darren Gold Rebellion? Well, I'll tell them the truth. I witnessed them kill my father with my own eyes. Good enough. Go on in. Really? You're not going to tell me I'm, I'm sorry for your loss or, hey, we, we feel for you. We're going to get revenge. Just, all right, that's enough. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> All right, so we're at the gates. Uh, we'll go to the market. So there's a day-night cycle. 
Does that mean there's a cycle of when the market is open and when it's closed? Let's find out. Brilliant sleight of hand, Horomel. That weak princeling at the brothel still doesn't know he's lighter by the weight of one fancy bracelet. We only need a little more, and Crag's ailment can get properly tested. So, someone's coming, I think. What a proprietous moment for you to walk into our lives, winsome stranger. My friends and I are collecting a small fee from everyone entering the city. A pittance, really. Fifty gold pieces. Interesting. <laughs> Did I hear you saying your friend is ill? Perhaps this potion of cure-all would help? Hmm. Often, if you wait a while, I'm sure it'll sum up nicely. Piss off. Hmm. Well, let's first do the uh, cure-all option. Did I hear you saying your friend is ill? Perhaps this potion of cure-all would help. Yes, well, we tried a potion already. But I suppose we could try again. Give it here. Come, fellows, let's pick somewhere quiet and get this in Crag's belly, if there's room. Sure, whatever. I don't care about losing one of those. Out of my way. I could have told him to piss off, but who knows what would have come from that. Mm -hmm. Commoner, guard, guard. Guard. Ooh, everything's okay, so... If you're in a regular town, then the whole map is open to you. Makes sense. This is, okay, it looks like this is the item for, the marker for stores. Yellow doors probably mean it's just regular place, right? Yeah, family house, family house, okay. And then a bar. Is that, oh, or is that supposed to be the inn where you can probably rest? And Temple of Alnarius. So is it like, Baldur's Gate, where you can come to the temple and get, like, curses taken off or have your party members revived? Have to visit and find out. Okay, um... We'll just start heading in. Explore these places. Alright, let me say first. So, can I open your chest in front of you? This container's locked. Hmm, what, what? happens if I force this lock in front of you? Is that an issue? Force open was successful. You're not calling any guards. Let's open it up. Just a shield in here. And no reaction. Okay. Three for all, I guess. I'll take it. What's this? Dust of ignition. Oh, but reading the recipe doesn't tell you what it actually does, though. I want to know what Dust of Ignition actually does. And, and hey, I'm getting 45 XP every time I do this, too. Warhammer. And, ooh, Mercenary Gauntlets. I forgot to look. Is that better than what I have? Um, yeah. Yeah. And this protects against the cold. I'm listening. I'm not. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I go. Where's the wheel? Oh. There's a. <laughs> There's a. <laughs> and we have those. Where's out of my way? I'll be. I'll be right with you, sir. And then I'll sell all your stuff right back to you. pick these we pick these right yeah okay down we go what do you have to say for yourself save Out of my yeah. way. oh adventurer I'm Tolbard hello I'm 
Ho, what an odd way to greet someone. <laughs> I say what I say. You've no need to get huffy, your grace. Why is he calling me your grace? So what will it be then? Are you a blacksmith? If you can't tell, I won't tell you. Can I see your wares? I... All right. Arrow of the Hunt. So there are special arrows in this game. What does this do? Arrow of the Hunt are designed to pierce even the thickest of hides. They are enchanted to seek out the user's intended target, correct the hunter's aim slightly, plus 5% to aim and accuracy. Very interesting. Ooh, new shield. A regular kite shield featuring bright colors, plus 20% to everything. How's that compared to what I have? Significantly better. How much is it? 138. Taking that. You can have your hammer back. And your infantry sword. And your keen battle axe. You can know the magic staff I'm not sure about. All right. And what about you? Yep. We're going to keep a couple of bows. Can't be sure. Defender of the Dreaming Timber. You use battle axes, right? So this helps you. Oh, it's 667. Uh, you don't need a new battle axe that much. Halberd. Interesting. Howl of the Wolf Mother. And Wooden Heater Shield. Let's see. Is this better than what you have? No, this is the same thing as what you have. All right. Good enough. Close. And let me go ahead and make sure that I... What? I'm listening. And in this case, yeah, okay, this is not good for you either. So yeah. Where's the wheel? Let's go. Yes, sir. Upgrade. What? Okay, so I guess that means stores are open during the evening then. Works for me. Still want to make sure we hit all these buildings to ensure that there are no quests in here that I might be missing. All right. We just came from down here. So we'll round this corner and then hit that spot as well. See if there's a new area that Out of my way. fast. I assume any dangers that we might come in here will be expected for that we'll be able to deal with them. Whoa. Guardian Gullo. That's really cool. Except he's just, <laughs> He's just convulsing in the corner. I like those creaks and sounds that come in though. Ooh, lock. So what happens if I pick a lock in front of a goal? What? Did that work? No, door lock. Where's the wheel? Did yes, I fail sir. it? What? No, there's nothing happened. Hmm, okay. Yes, yes. You know what? That makes me feel like I should just go ahead and sleep. Because I'm wondering if that would be open in the morning. Gavin the Good. Whoever that Gavin the Good is. Is that the guy I was talking with before? Alright, then, uh, then yeah, I want to sleep and see if that'll be open tomorrow. Drunkard. Off-duty soldier. What? Which way to the... Oh, I'm trying to find out what happened to Lord Espen. Have you heard of him? I try to stay spitting distance away from lords and ladies. Because if they don't spit at me, I'm liable to spit at them. Well, jeez. Hey, the golems walk. That's super cool. All right. So the golems walk and patrol the neighborhood. Okay. Let's see if we... We'll search the inn, and then we'll rest, and then we'll come out and see if we can hit that door. Who's here? Drunken cell sword. Leave me be a twat. And what's going on here? Why are they surrounding her? If any were to ask, I would compare Lady Bajala's exquisite presence to the light of dawn. I would never compare Lady Bajala's lovely visage to anything so harsh as that. I think the reflection of moonlight on a still pond is more apt. 
My lords are too kind, but you know, I'm finding it a titch stuffy in here. I believe I will step out for some air. Let me fan you, my lady. I too carry a fan for such occasions. Mine is fashioned from pheasant. Piff, dirty, wild creatures are peasants. My fan is fashioned from peacock feathers. Step aside, papas. My fan is crafted from the feathers of the legendary phoenix. In summer it cools thee and in winter warms. Really, my lords, I have a needlepoint back at my apartments that I'm most eager to complete. If you'll excuse me. Nonsense, Lady Majala. I cannot go an hour longer without you choosing me over these two scoundrels. I cannot wait another minute until you select me over these two vagabonds. A second me, nincompoops. <laughs> Come on now. Nobody need, uses nincompoops in a sentence. <laughs> what a spectacle these men make of themselves. A dwarf woman would know how to handle such a situation. A gentle rap on the temple with the backside of an axe. Let's see if we can help her out some more, Sykes. By all means, why not? Yes. Hush you. Can't you find someone else to trouble? Yes. Oh, Lord Smedric, as much as your poetry is alarmingly metaphorical, I still must insist that you speak to no one regarding your thoughts on my resemblance to a flower bud ready to open. <laughs> wow. My lady, my lords, I hate to interrupt, but I have urgent news. The king is about to make an announcement at the palace, something about a new tax to be levied on the nobility in support of the war effort. If you hurry, there's still time to hear him speak. Bargain and persuasion. You're not serious. I mean, down with the Darren Gold. I'll have to go. As do I. As do I. That was neatly done. Who do I have to thank for my rescue? <laughs> Hmm, mm. I am Samori Sykes, glad to be of service. I am the Lady Biola of the Feldegug, darling of the court and spellweaver extraordinaire. But of course, you know all that. I can't say that I do. I'm not strong enough to carry the legend I would need to keep track of every self-important noble in this ha. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I can't say that I do. You honestly don't know me? How delightful. I'm so tired of the endless legions of fawning earls and viscounts and hanger-ons. One can hardly walk down the street here without tripping over them. And if you don't know me, you must be new to Isselbright. Doubly delightful. Well, I am very pleased to meet you. What brings you to the capital? I am trying to learn more about Lord Espen, who was killed recently at his estate by forces from Darren Gold. Ah, what luck. The disposition of noble titles is practically a second career of mine. You must allow me to accompany you. I will make sure you find what you wish to know and thereby repay the good turn you've done me disposing of those well-bred parasites. Splendid. I do need the help. Good. I suggest we try the palace first or the Hall of Records. Okay. Party member, yay. Hey, my little what? command company thing is gone. Set it to Wolfpack again. Cohesion, 78%. Interesting. How much have they contributed to the XP? Most of it from Helgen. I'm looking forward to learning more about this. Yes, this makes sense. You. I don't, how do I know what to set your stuff yes. to if I don't even know what you are? So she is a spell weaver and she is raised Feldegog. Okay. General skills. Holy smokes. You got to aid in learning and research. Okay. So I definitely don't need that. Prodigy. What is that? Enables additional dialogue choices themed around wizardry. 
Besides adding choices, it increases the bargain and persuasion score when in dialogue with other wizards, alchemists, diviners, and scholars. I really, really love this dialogue system they have from a skills point standpoint. Like you have to have different things depending upon who you're talking to. I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome and adds some levels to developing yourself. Really good stuff. She's got a three in rods and staffs. Okay, so slings are useless to her. But... Hmm. But does, is this... So it's got a range of 1.5. Where's the wheel? Yes. This is a range of 1.3. So... What I'm curious about is, can she stand behind the two of us and attack? Or does she still need to be directly in front of the enemy? I guess we're not going to find out until I'm a battle. Ready. But she doesn't look like she really can take a punch. <laughs> Being perfectly honest. In fact, yeah, low physique and low dexterity. So she specializes in intelligence and focus and then charisma. And she's got a one on supernatural. This all makes sense. This looks like a, a good stat line to me. How do I see... I need to see what spell she has. Is there a spell book? I don't remember. Interact, stop. Oh, wait, there's a dialogue option. Ooh, okay. I have to keep that in mind. Spell book. Ha ho! Okay. So she has level one spells. And base energy. What does that mean? Elevated energy. That's interesting. What do you mean elevated energy? Clicking on it does nothing. Elevated energy spells. Slot type, does it just mean that it's like physical? That it's something that can stop people maybe? It is a stone wall, so maybe that's what they mean. Sometimes all you need is a good thick wall to solve your problems, creates one of those which blocks movement and projectiles. Okay. Fever. This spell sends a spell induced fever to attack its target, causing a sense of intense heat engulfing its body, inflicts weakness, throbbing, and toasting on the target. Okay. And then there are favorite spells here. Okay. Snow. Conjure the very elemental essence of cold. Throw it at someone you don't like. Deals three to seven cold damage to the target on impact. That sounds good as well. What about level two? She does seem, seems like she does have level two spells. Okay. This is elevated. What is this? Move like lightning and leave some behind for anyone unfortunate enough to be nearby. The caster quickly jumps away to a targeted location in range while discharging a blast of lightning in a circular area around them. Targets caught in the discharge take pulse and blow and heat damage. Hmm. Maybe I'm misreading it, but this doesn't sound good. If she's, most of the time, she's going to be close to the team, right? So if she's springing up and leaving around a circle of lightning, that's going to hurt all of us, isn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. We'll see how it works. Summertime Sparkle. The swirling ball of force can be hurled at the target to inflict serious damage. The target is dealt four to six heat and three to five pulse and blow damage. This sounds great. Summon Wolf. Ooh, I love summoners. The spell summons a wolf at a desired location and range for the caster to aid in combat. At higher character levels, additional wolves are summoned. Ooh. And unbearable heat. Bakes well-armored foes in their armor like a hot day in the sun, dealing progressively more heat damage over time to those wearing heavier armor. For five turns, deals one to two damage to lightly armored, one to four damage to medium armored, and two to six damage to heavily armored enemies each turn. Has no effect on targets who do not have armor. Some tells me we'll run into plenty of enemies who have heavy armor, so I like this. She does not have, okay, and that's the limit. And the highest you can go up to is level seven. Okay. Oh, wait, did I look at some of the spiders? I don't think I did. This spell summons a group of spiders at a desired location and range from the caster to aid in combat. Additional spiders are summoned at higher character levels. So she has two levels of summoning. Psst, I'll use summon it for. So wait, what is spell weaver considered in this game? What does that really mean? Ah. Is there a specific category for summoning? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, fine. 
very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. I like that. Oh, oh, oh. And you. Oh, uh, no. We are all aggressive. Use whatever you like. Um, do they have debuffer? Battle mage sounds like you, they wanted to be right up front. I don't want her up front. They have support. Mm, no, summoner. Summoner. Summons creatures and buffs them in combat. What is support? Uses healing and buffing spells in combat. She doesn't have buffing or healing spells, so this is not useful. She could be damage dealer. Huh. Which do I want? Summoning or damage dealing? I do like summoning more because it takes some of the weight off of the tanks. So let's go with that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Good stuff. Looking forward to working with you. Where's Who the else fight? is here? Yes, yes. Off duty soldier, waiter. That's a waiter, gotta say. Welcome to the Crooked Haggler, sir. Talk to Carmina if you fancy a room or drink. Okay. And a drunkard in the back there. Nothing to talk about there. And, but there is upstairs. I want to search around the whole town. And then after we search around the whole town and it's time to um, venture back out again. Ooh, container locked. What? Hey, hey, that worked that time. Um, yes, yes. After that, I'll talk to these two and maybe we'll get some more party members. I'll talk to whatever party members we have, figure out that they have some dialogues, and then we'll head out. Where's the fight? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Something you want bashed? Mm -hmm. Where's the time going? Awesome. Also, look at the brewing and drying and see if there's. I should see if I can make a health potion before I um, actually rest here now that I think about it. Do, 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 do. Out of my do, way. Oh, it's more back here. Hold on. What's over here? Oh, turn on fast. What's this? Fresh meat. Okay. Hello. Sir, I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. The kitchen is off limits to guests. Talk to Carmina by the bar if you need anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Why are you going all the way there to loot this? There we go. What's that? Nothing. Nothing. What's this? Dust of Strange Seduction. What does that do? Causes attraction to target for six seconds. When the attraction effect ends, causes confusion to the target for six seconds. For the duration of the attraction and confusion effects, the target suffers a negative one penalty to focus. Opposed by resistance to illusion and manipulation. Interesting. I still don't understand how this whole attraction business works, but we'll get into that at some point. Um, potion of healing. Two portions of bruised root into a cauldron, then let them simmer over low heat for eight hours. So, this is brewing. Brews, brew, brew. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't have a cauldron. Do I? I don't. Where do I get a cauldron from? Do I have brews root? This is pity ring. Come on, all these things I've picked up, surely I've got this brews root. Okay, so I had the brews root, but I don't have a cauldron to use. I need to find one from somewhere. And speaking of which, I have this leather belt. I haven't given it to you. I'm listening. Yet. You don't have a belt, so I'll give it to you. What? Oh, hey, I should identify this. Grants level one base slot, spell slot, and level two base spell slot, and gives you a plus two to focus. Let's have her compare yes. that to what she has. She also has a brilliant sapphire staff. Fascinating. And she comes with a candle and Vera's rest which is for calming and steadying. 
Interesting. You don't need a dagger. I don't see why you'd be using that. And I'll let you keep the health potions. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Hello. Let's rest. Take a seat. What can I get you today? What can you tell me about this place? Ah, you must be new here, surely. This is the Crooked Haggler, finest inn you can find in Nisselbright. The meat is cold, the beds are soft, the patrons, well, the patrons are a bit more rich, a bit more stuck up, and a bit less likely to stab you in the chest than in other places. <laughs> I'd like to rent a room. Sure, which one do you like? You are browsing the rooms of an inn. Each of your characters must be assigned to a specific room before they can be sent to rest. Each room costs the same no matter how many characters are resting inside. You can assign a character to a room by clicking their portrait next to the desired room category. Once you have assigned all characters to rooms, you can click the rent button to finalize your choice. If you change your mind and decide to rest elsewhere, you can click the close button to close the renting interface. So, I want to... Oh, you could hire a guard, but no, I'm good. Oh, okay, interesting. So, rent. Let's see how this works. And rest for eight hours. And looks like that's that. My God. Okay. Hmm. Actually, still looks like it's night, right? Dun, 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 oh, no, it's not. Be nice to other people and the world, and things will go your way. Act like a bully and a cur, and the world punishes you. That's it. That's how it all works. Commoner. Okay. And that guy's drunkard. Out of my way. And, oh, same Hello. guy, right? Hello again, my friend. Can I interest you in some trade? Show me what you have, Gavin. Right away. Okay, so yeah, you got the same stuff as before, but now you finally made the town. Cool. Where was I going? That's there. Royal Steeds. Ooh. Fire. Breather. Hello. Nice time for a chat. Ah, uh, he does. He provides the same stuff. Get out of my face. <laughs> All right. So that's their stand. A little dialogue. All right, and now I can get into here. Okay, cool. What is this? Out of my way. Um, stableman. Does taking this mean anything to you? Dried lavender. I don't think I've had that before. Hmm. Greetings, sir. Such beautiful steeds, aren't they? I'll let you get back to your work. Fine, see you around. Feel free to marvel at the horses if you wish. I blame the king. Ah, same deal. Okay, so this is just where they keep the horses. Nothing special, though. Cool. Let's go up to, I think there's a church up there, right? All right. Yep, church, and then hit whatever that is. Out of my way. <laughs> yeah, that voice is working for me. Absolutely working for me. Royal Archer. Nice. This is not the place to mess around, apparently. Temple of Alnarius. Okay. Out of my way. I gotta keep on turning on. What is it? Fast mode. Stop going off. I'll click you if y'all want you to go off. Okay. Nothing in this area. Nothing over here. Brother Hello. Wembley. Greetings, sir. Have you come to admire the grandeur of our temple? You are welcome to share in its glory. 
I wonder, would you offer your aid to ensure the safety of Yeringal as Alnarius and Talindia created her? The task I have in mind requires an able-bodied adventurer like yourself. What has happened to threaten the safety of Yeringal? A grim shadow has fallen upon many regions of Yeringal, including our own humble kingdom. Unnatural creatures are becoming more and more common, threatening all of Alinarius and Talindia's creations. Everyone who serves the cause of good must play their part in defending the lands from this menace. That includes you, I hope. What do you need these able bodies for? Fighting, for some violence will surely be involved. The danger of which I speak is the undead. They've been wandering north in great numbers toward Isselbright from that area called the Screaming Barrows. Oh yeah, definitely glad I didn't go there. <laughs> They prey on merchants and travelers, despoil our forests and fields, and are generally a blight upon the land. Heroes are needed to rid us of this evil. The church is also needed, of course, to guide and coordinate their efforts. That sounds like a serious problem. All right, I'll do what I can. Wonderful. Ever blessed are the righteous. I've had reports of another horde of these abominations approaching the city from the southwest along the Merchant's Road. Ensure you dispatch every last one of them. All right. Yes, yes. Hmm. The Church of Alnarius welcomes you, brother. Are you in search for magical aid? What sort of aid do you provide? We are here to treat the worst of injuries that might have befallen you or those close to you. By the light of Alnarius, we can bring you back from the brink of death. The preparation for casting magic like ours takes considerable time and costs precious components. Should you need to purchase these services, be sure to prepare an ample supply of golden coins to pay for them, a sum of 300 gold. Not right now, farewell. May his light follow your steps, brother. Ah, huh. 300 gold seems relatively cheap, considering I already have more than that. Maybe they expect all your party members to die all the time. <laughs> we want to make sure it's easy as possible for you to bring these people back to life. Because we have prepared the types of enemies that are going to slaughter your party more often than not. We shall see. Okay, so now we've hit the church and the stables. I think there was another um, area we could go into in the corner there. Ooh. Really? Out of my way. All right, that's definitely something I'm not a fan of. That day-night cycle is way too short. Oh, but at least it... See, now that kind of worries me, though, because out of my way. if certain people are asleep, doesn't that mean you can miss out on certain quests? If you're not here during daytime? Hmm. Problematic. Problematic. Mm -hmm. Or does it work like, like Skyrim, where you just wake them up out of bed and they're like, all right, I'm awake. Here's what I want you to do. Don't come back until I'm finished. What's this? Armor of Alnarius. This armor requires no proficiency and does not interfere with spell casting. It increases the caster's resistance to slashing, stabbing, and pulsing blow damage by 30% for 48 turns. Looks like battle maid stuff. But uh, is that supposed to be for her? Hmm. Interesting. 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 Ooh. Peeps. Free R, free R, free R. What is it? Greetings, fellow soul. Blessed be thy day. Hmm. Container locked. How do you react if I try to just burst it open? Whoops, that's not how you do that. What? Force open was successful. What's this? Old damp room. Hmm. And no reaction from you, so I'll assume you're good with it. Southern Copper Bracelet. 
our soothing heals target in the area. Ooh, for 10 hit points. Okay. Yes, yes. Where's the will? If you say so. Um, you might need that. This is a. Uh, does I already have some of this? Oh. So this helps my focus, but this helps my bargaining persuasion, so we'll go with that. Yes. You probably want something that helps your focus, right? What's this robe do for you? Not a thing. All right, so that robe is garbage. And then power of suit. I'm listening. You can let you use that if you need a health boost. Okay. Where's the fight? Oh, did I get that? No, I didn't. Oh, that's just a total cure, though. All right. Back out. No, 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 no. Out of my way. Out of my way. Come on. There we go. All right, so I think now that I've done that, I've cleared that whole top section. So now we just need to work our way down and clear it. Clear the rest of the doors. There we go. Check that. Oh, no. This, I'm only here. So, is this curio actually still open? Ooh, what's this? Oh, crap. I should have saved. Oh, well. Gentlemen, I merely wish to be on my way. I have no quarrel with you. Are those elephant toes coming out of your cheeks? You're just like me? Hey, welcome. Come on in. Hmm. What's going on here? Please, I have nothing left I can give to your master. That is not so, Soraka. You know it is not so. The one thing you indisputably have is that which we've come for. Then why talk at all? Why not just plant a blade in my back? Because I want to see the fear in your eyes before you die. Leave that woman alone. Walk away, Rillo. We're only after her. Do Rillo really stoop so low as to harass their own kind for coin? We have business with this one, Rillo, and we intend to get paid. Take your leave or you'll get paid too, in a different sort of coin. Young lady, do you have some business with these men? Call me Soraka, please. Unfortunately, yes, business of a kind. They're here on behalf of their master, Elenuator. But isn't Elenuator your master as well, and master of all, Rillo? So I wonder, do you get special dialogue options based upon what race you are? Because this seems like something I should say with more authority, like, this is the way it is, why would you say that? But, okay. Number one? Not all, Rillo, no. I no longer answer to Elenuator. I've turned to the light of Alenarius. To him I pray now. And to him I have consecrated my faith. Elenuator has reacted badly to my decision. There. Now you know this filthy heretic's crime. Get out of the way so we can do our job. I don't know for certain that we would win in a straight fight, but I imagine the amount of noise we can raise together will rouse a score or two of other folk from their bread and nail. Do you care so little who witnesses your crimes, bargain, and persuasion? Damn, you're interfering. Very well. Breathe the fresh air a while longer, Soraka. But to your new friends, I say this. Any associate of this heretic will be marked just the same. Hmm. Run like the coward you are. Hmm. You handled yourself well? As did you. I'd rather not dwell on the outcome should you not have. Anyway, you have my thanks. I am a cleric of Anarius, adept at the healing arts and also capable in a fight. Perhaps our skills might complement each other. 
Well, 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 a cleric, someone to help with healing? By all means. Yes, agreed. Welcome to the party. Thank you. Let me know if you need any healing. And look who's joined the fray. Yes. So, what is your sheet? You're a cleric. You're also a Rillo, just like me. Decent physique. Decent intelligence. Plenty of focus. Good stuff. You specialize in brewing and drying. Okay, I'll let you have at it. You love to pray. Pray lets the cleric talk to their deity on there as the king god. The skill will impart one of various boons to the user when selected before resting. However, it is up to Alneris to decide the exact nature of it. Affected by charisma, focus, intellect, and modifiers. She can also abolish curses. Offers the ability to purify magical items that are otherwise cursed. While cursed items offer some negative effects in turn for the powerful advantages they give, purified items will only add positive effects to their wearers. Affected by focus and intelligence. Fascinating. And tend to wounds. Offers the ability to heal party members' injuries during a rest. The skill increases the base amount of health regained by all group members during resting at all locations. Multiple characters can take this skill to increase its effects. Affected by intelligence, focus, physique, and modifiers. All of these sound great. <laughs> Interesting. I am a fan of the way skills are set up in this game. The question to me is, how many times do you get to level up? And how high can you actually take these skills? Like, can I specialize in two or three of these? Or do I have to just pick one and just accept that I'm going to specialize in one throughout my playthrough? We shall see. Weapons. A one on small blades or one on rods and staffs. So weaponry is not really her thing. Hmm. I almost want to just give her a sling. I have a sling, but I need more stones for it, I assume. I saw the stone ammunition, so I assume you need stones in order to actually use slings. And she's got spells, right? She does have spells. Okay, so this is level one. Elevated energy spells. Alanaris will protect his children at hour of need. This armor, oh, 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 increase the cast's resistance to slashing, stabbing, impulse, and blow damage by 30% for 48 turns. Yeah, I remember this. We already have, we got a scroll for this, right? So she has it as an actual spell. That's cool. Um, and I guess, is it for herself though? Or can she cast it for other people as well? Hmm, we shall see. What's this, peace? She can pacify a target. What does that mean though? What is the, what does pacified mean? Natural energy issues forth from the caster's hands to heal their target. The target is healed for 15 health points. Okay, nice. So, okay, so she can only memorize four spells. She's got two of hand of mercy, two of peace, but no serenity. This spell can be used to restore the combatant nature of creatures to its original state. The pacified effect is removed from the target if present, and the target also gains alert. So maybe other people can use pacified against you, and serenity will help with that? Oh, unlike the other one, she does not have level two spells, okay. And what do you come equipped with? Oh, so you have a traveler's cane, okay. Fine woolen boots, no gloves, old damp robe. Okay, and you, even though you specialize in brewing and drying, you do not have a cauldron. All right. I'll take it. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Um, party manager, information and behavior. Seems like you two should be in the back. Aggressive still. Use whatever you like. Um, support. Healing and buffing spells. There we go. Why not? All right. Four party members. We almost have a full team, y'all. Right. Yes, yes. All right. Fast. Boom, 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 boom. 
Oh, they were locked. Where's the wheel? Yes, sir. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wants uh -oh. that make it level three. I'll take that. So actually, how much? So I am ooh, a couple of thousand away. So 45 helps, but it's not like a crazy amount. <sighs> All right, and we will continue with bargaining and persuasion. We will continue with command. And yep, I'm still specializing in large blades. All right. We haven't gotten into the heavy fighting yet, but so far I don't feel bad about my build. Um, oh, my oh, you know, but I also noticed that you can't well, you know what? Maybe I need to get up to level four. Because I was about to say, it seems like you can't change your attributes based upon um, leveling up. So maybe the attributes you pick are just the final attributes you get in the whole game. We'll see. Hmm, father and his child. Uh, child just a commoner. Okay, so. Ooh, what's that? Check that out in a minute. These are just regular regular boots looks like out of my way Anything else there okay um heat and cold and all that yes what you got here oh uh, yeah so what what's this grants level one base spell slot three Boo -boo. yes wait a minute what is she already carrying nothing Prayer beads. Hmm. There we go. And now. Three. Oh, she's. Oh. Uh, so she's got the slot, but she doesn't have the spells for it. Oh, well. One day. So I wonder, do you, your party members increase in XP at the same rate that you do? Seems like that dwarf that I picked up should have leveled Out up by now. Because I got level two like right before him, right? Right before what? I met him, I became level two. Where's the wheel? Yes, sir. What? So he should be leveling up shortly afterwards, if it's consistent. Hey, there's a person here. Out of my Let's way. see if she cares. Nope. She's like, do whatever you like. Take everything I own. What's this? Oh, Battle Roar. I like Battle Roar. How'd you do that? What the hell? Uh, dust of Illness. Causes disease to target for 120 seconds, occurring 20% penalties to their mental abilities. Hmm. First, what's the, what are these? Mm, plus 15. Ooh, plus one on dexterity. Ooh, the alchemist gloves. Well, she's yes. clearly the alchemist. What is your dexterity rating? You're low in dexterity. But you're also the main brewer that we're going to use. So I actually, I actually be giving you the call, yeah. right? Now, the first what? thing I want to make is some more health potions. How do I do that? Requires bruise root. So you will take the cauldron, you which you already did, and then you will take our bruise root. Go ahead. Now. Wait, 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 wait. No, it says specifically two portions of bruise root. But how long? <sighs> two portions of brute. Where is that freaking? What? Why is it? Why did I think the type 
Fairy Jews. Battle Roar. What in the hell? What next? Yes. I'm listening. Where's the fight? Why? Why don't I see? Yes, yes. Did it try to say that I dropped it? Oh, I didn't need to. Oh, 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 I pressed dropped instead of close. My bad. Simmer over low heat for eight hours. Okay. Ready to serve. Brewing. So I assume this is. Oh, well, whoops. No, the cauldron's here. But it's not letting me, it doesn't let me do anything with it. So, fine, whatever. Start brewing. You need to do complete a long rest. Okay, cool. Hopefully when the long rest completes, we will have what we need. Something, if you say so. What's this? Crisp Agotha's Weevil. Okay, cool. No, 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 not yet. Got that. Got that. Okay, now we can go upstairs. Fascinating Adventures of Captain Kohlbacher. Volume IX. Interesting. Out of my okay. way. Marching powder. This spell summons a cloud of fine powder that filters down from above in a circulating area. The powder has a simulating effect over allied targets when coming into contact with their skin. Allies inside the area of effect gain strengthened, inspired, and indomitable. Okay. I'll take that. Hey, question. J. Compendium. Tutorial. Oh. So then, does it have looting? Hmm. I'll look at those at some point. But does it have journal, companion, looting, interaction, combat, equip, resting, item description, item bonuses, quick slots, crafting, warrior locks, warrior command, level up, shop, and. I do not see where it, I, I was hoping there was something that would explain some of the different statuses. Doesn't appear that that's in the com compendium though. Yes, yes. I will definitely suggest that. Cause I mean, I assume strengthen and all this stuff is good, but I don't know. Hmm. Hello, <laughs> sir. Would you be interested in a fruitful job opportunity for the famous Ilios Curio? A little help with my project will go a long way for the both of us. All you need to do is take a little trip outside the city to bring me what I need. What is it that you need me to collect? What I need is a single piece of blood foam stone. I have already gathered the other ingredients for my project. It is a little harder to come by than most since you need to butcher a specific type of undead for it. I hope that's not a problem for you, is it? All right, let's say I'm in. What is this project you're talking about? I'm working on a substance to lend my scholarly fellows an edge. Have you heard how hard those lads at Warden Half are studying? They barely get to sleep at all. And the scribes at the Hall of Records don't even get me started. Horrible, you get it? So I thought maybe I could help them out a little. I did some research, some experience, and poof, came this wild formula I'd never saw before. The only problem is that I cannot really leave my shop to gather all the ingredients, especially since some are not just hard, but dangerous to come by. Okay, I'll help you. What do you need me to do? Yes, perfect. All I need you to do is to find and bring me a piece of blood foam stone. You should be able to find it inside older undead bodies, ones that rested undisturbed for long periods of time. For your work, I offer you a sum of 400 gold and a sample kit of my favorite powders. Happy hunting. Okay, peer pressure, but- Hello. I know I'll stone you, but I'll let you know what you do. Oh, so you can't even shop here until you do that, huh? Okay. Doom, 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 doom.
And now it's day again. Interesting. Um, Elden's Fabrics. I guess we'll go here. Out of my way. Well, first, I'm going to check here. So I have the Castle District. Cool. One half. Whatever that is. And Grave Arc. Okay, cool. Boom. Da -dum, da -dum. Hmm. What's going on here? Animal pelt. I can sell that. Out of my way. What? Oh, I really need a thief. That last one has got to be some sort of thief. Whoa. All right. What's we? Ha what do we have there? Clothes, animal pelt. What's this? Stylish red boots. Gives you additional bargain and persuasion, along with protection from the heat and the cold. I guess yes. that works. I guess that makes sense for her, right? Yes, it does. She's got the Where fancy the blue boots. Yes. Now you can have the stylish red ready. boots. There you go, sister girl. And it matches your coat. Look at me hooking you up. Identify. Gamma said Noble's coat. Hmm. Not as much protection from heat and not nearly as much slash protection. Okay, I think this is is this meant to be worn by a mage? Maybe. Let's what find do you out. Wish with me? Nope. Yes. Not her. She can wear it. Oh right, Cleric. She should be able to wear any armor, right? I mean, who knows how clerics work in this game, but typically it's all good okay the so i'll stick that on her what's this 10 percent to aim and accuracy i probably want this except ooh, it doesn't do anything for me this is more so for a, someone who's using like a bow and arrow right probably um we're gonna hang on to this we're gonna just keep this around for a little while and awesome yes, that was a good boss. Yes. Where's the owner? Where's the proprietor Something of this establishment? So. Can I talk to you? Welcome to Eldon's Fabrics. Take a good look around. I might not be around for much longer, the way things are going. Say, would you be interested in a bit of work? You shall be rewarded handsomely, and you'll save an old lady from trouble. Hmm, why do you think you won't be around much longer? To put it simply, competition. Wealthy merchants, the likes of Morin down the street, are shoving their way into every business there is in as of right these days. Clothing and fabrics are no exception. They don't know much about the art, really, but they can make more and sell it cheaper than I can. Their works look painfully sim similar to what we make here as well, so they come into fashion right away. I cannot compete with these conditions unless I come up with something clever, which I did, and that's where you come in. What sort of help do you need? I want you to find me a plant with a special sort of flower. We call them sky bloom in the forest I hail from, named for their distinct blue glow. The thing about sky bloom is that it, in its petals hides an incredibly potent ink that I could use to color my fabrics. The petals of a single flower could color a hundred dresses. Imagine that. And the colors, the beautiful colors they make. Unbelievable. They only grow in the elven forest to the east of Isselbright, so it's been ages since I've seen them. It costs a fortune to ship them up here on a regular basis, but I see no other choice to fight the merchants. With a handful of petals, I could show them how it's really done. Sure, I'll help you. What do you need me to do? Excellent. I need you to bring me a handful of sky balloon petals. That is all. If you do that for me, I will award you with one of my greatest handcrafted dresses, as well as 400 golds for your trouble. Hmm. I didn't feel like we saw anything to the east. I thought we were basically at the east, but maybe I'm wrong. I have to double check the map when we get out in the world. Actually, that's a good question. Do I have to wait? Maybe even here it'll let me go to the world map. I'm curious now. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, yep. Market Street and then Global. Okay. Yeah. So maybe she means like Northeast? <laughs> Unless this little plains area is supposed to be something else. 
I looted everything at the hidden cabin, so I'm gonna assume it's not there. Right, she said to the right, to the east of Isselbright. Interesting. Okay. Um, did we go to the general store? I don't think we did, but actually we're gonna go here first. Great bass. Out of my way. What is commoner, commoner, commoner guard? Okay. Cat. And anything over here? Ooh, one half is now available. Cool. Doom, da doom, da doom, da doom. Say successful commoner, commoner. Out of my Citizen. Way. Citizen, citizen, citizen. Here we go all the way around. Dun, 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 dun. Citizen, citizen. Citizen, citizen. Dun, 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 dun. Nope, all citizens. Nothing to do in there just yet. have a cleric but now we have a cleric so I feel much better about it nope what what's in here god dog it there we go nothing really you had me <laughs> you had me go through the extra effort of unlocking that for no reason well, I tell you. all right back down Let's see what he has for us to do. Don't get so close. Greetings. Sorry if I seem distracted, but today I'm a very troubled dwarf. Would you be willing to help me? Someone's life may depend on it. Whose life are we talking about? This is all that damnable Baffalodak's fault. May Rothgar tear him into strips. That Greybark villain's goons abducted my dear friend Magenhild. They're holding her hostage, and I'm sure it will get much worse. They think she knows something that will let them take over my shop. Thugs like them can't compete honestly. They only know how to steal and destroy. Once they're finished interrogating Magenhild, they'll kill her for sure. What do you need done? I need someone to rescue my dear Magenhild. Baflodak's gang is a menace to all this will break. Someone needs to slap them down, hard. Hard enough they'll never get up. By the by, poor Megan Hill was carrying some of my merchandise when she was taken. Naturally, her life is what I value most, but losing those goods would be an almost equally dire blow. That sounds like real trouble, all right? I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much, sir. It all happened in Greybark Square. I saw when they cornered her and immediately ran back here to safety. I mean, to get help. <laughs> All right, so I assume he's another one where I need to do his quest before he'll let me actually shop at his store. Plus, it sounds like he needs merchandise, so he might not have anything to sell to me. We shall return. Considering this game is in early access, I'm hoping the loading screens are one of the things that they're going to be able to increase or speed up to some degree. Like, I know definitely when you're going out in the world and you're loading up a new area, it definitely makes sense that you would have a wait. But the in-town wait seems a little long to me. Dust of the long night causes blindness to targets for 12 seconds, incurring 20% penalties to aim and accuracy, defense, and perception. 
opposed by resistance to illusion and manipulation. Interesting. Yeah, when we get out to the world and start fighting, I'm definitely going to make sure all the party members are set to um, just go ahead and use consumables because <laughs> I'm probably not going to be reading through all of it and understanding what each one of those powders do. So hopefully my companions will be like, oh, this is a good powder to throw out right about now. Go ahead, have at it. <laughs> Won't bother me one bit. Go downstairs too, huh? Interesting. Out of my way. Actually, here. Let's actually move out the way. From there. What's this? I already have that recipe. Oops, what's this? The Fallen Princess Tale. Have I read this? Nope. So there you go. There you go. What? Once again, I assume you all don't want the stories read, but if that's not the case, just let me know. I don't have a problem with it. I just want to make sure I'm not boring people. <laughs> commoners down here, right? So nobody I could talk to. Commoner, commoner. Yep, nothing to talk to over there. So I think there's, what, one, maybe two more doors we need to hit. And then we can move on to the next area, which I think right above us is where the palace is. So we can go to the palace and see if they will be willing to give me my father's titles. Morn's Warehouse. Did we go in there? I don't remember going in there. So we're going to have to check that out. But since we're also down here. Out of my way. Ready? Ooh. This is interesting. That is a weird little sound they have us making while we're walking over here as well. Uh, it doesn't look like we could do anything with those, but those sure do look like statues that are going to come to life at some point. All right. That allows us to get to other areas. I'm sorry. That's just the thing with me. I got to hit all the sides to just make sure Hello. anything that can be illuminated is illuminated. And these are all commoners and guards, commoners and guards. Oh. Can I open it? Yes, I can. Excellent. Where's the wheel? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Who are you? Worker. Healing potion. Nice. Sell stones. Round stones for a sling. Hello. Cool. Please leave me to my work. Time spent talking is deducted from my pay. Really? Out of my <laughs> way. Jeez. That's just a regular sword. Yep, okay. What's this? Gold. Nothing. Uh, more arrow, bow and arrow stuff. Am I going to get somebody who can use this bow and arrow stuff? That'd be nice. There's a shield there. I have to check it. Compare it with uh, my other guy. My dwarf. See if he can use that. The signal came up. A surprisingly colorful assortment of odds and wares are scattered over this table. Interesting. And what's up with that shield? I'm listening. Nope, you can't use it either. I go. What? Come on. Dun 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 
and let's see back down lower left clear that up we still need Out of my way. Hmm. if there's a stat for the what do they call it the diversity in your party does that mean you can get more than just we've got what uh, one more slot here so that's five that's four four people does that mean there are actually more than four people that you can get as party members in the game that'd be pretty cool i love a big team and oh let's it let's us in despite it being dark the door made it seem like this is going to be a garrison or something like that but hey, if you want to just let me walk right in? Let me walk Out right in. Out of my way. What's going on here? Plant. No. 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 Yes. And who are you? Guard. Squire. Yeah. I haven't seen a squire. Move along. All right, fine. Ooh, jail cells people in them yet though guard here jailer what move along okay nothing there what god dug it Ooh, what's that daring gold curious those are the enemies though there right do what i really want to be yes, walking yes. around the city of that probably not hey <laughs> hey I'm going to leave that in the inventory for a little bit. I don't need one of those giant golems smashing my whole party. Not yet, anyway. All right, nothing there. Out of my way. Can I go up in here? Halt. You have not been cleared for entry. Trespass shall not be tolerated. Okay. Another time, then. Interesting. Okay. So that's the jail cell, and I guess that must be a, a warden of some kind on the top floor. Well, I wonder if it ha needs to be daylight when I come to the palace, or if they'll let me in regardless. We've only, but now that I think about it, we've only had a situation of locked doors. We haven't had a situation of like somebody being asleep or being unwilling to talk with us because oh, it's nighttime. Oh, wait, there are people down there. What's going on over there? Whoa. What in the hell is that? Krug. What is going on? Hmm. Nice time for a chat. Uh, which way to the market? Small. I'll tell you how to get to the palace. That's all I can do. Huh. I blame wrong. the king. Hello. And I can't get through to talk to him. And it won't let me click on that either. Hmm. Something tells me this is the not supposed to happen. I wonder who I wonder what triggered that. Alright, I'll come back. Maybe it'll be cleared up. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, door locked. What? Hey, hey. Where's the wheel? Man, Where's that the... whole force lock thing is actually what? really, really useful. Way more useful than I thought it would be. At least in this situation where we're not in a hostile circumstance. All right, you're a commoner. Container locked. Nothing there. Little bug there. What? There we go. For a candle. Come Where's on. Where's the wheel? Where's the. What? Where's the lanterns at? That's what I need. So I can stop having to use it over and over and over again. All right. Even though it's nighttime, we're going to go ahead and just go to the palace. See if they'll let us in. Let me double check the map real quick. Pretty sure I hit everything. 
Hit that general store, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit everything here. Um, so let's go to the palace. See if they'll let us in and talk to us. Hmm. Going in and out didn't fix that whole walking thing. I'll have to try to remember to head back over there and talk to that guy. All right. Uh, yeah, castle district. What's well, over here? Ooh. I'm a fan of the art. Every time I see a new one, it, rem it reminds me. They need more tips down at the bottom, but the art is on point. All right, so I'm not going to walk around the doors. I'm going to head straight to the castle because I'm curious what happens when you're trying to reclaim your father's legacy. Where am I? All right, so I got to make sure I come back and hit that area. Out of my way. Turn back on fast. Come on, let's do this. Go along, Royal Guard. Royal Guard, come on. Royal Archer. You are not approved to... Oh, Lady Bajala, we are honored by your presence, my lady. Thank you, that's very flattering. My friend here has urgent business in the palace. Whether or not he's been approved, I will vouch, vouchsafe his character. I regret to say I cannot accommodate your request, Lady Bajala. I have my orders. This is obviously a dead end. We have to try something else. Ah, well, it's not as bleak as it looks. We might find your answers in the Hall of Records. Let's check there. Okay. Yes, yes. Where's the Hall of Records? That's the Hall of Records. Oh, and those are different embassies. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, that actually makes me want to go ahead and check this, and then we'll go to the Hall of Records. Commoner, commoner, royal guard, commoner. Oh, but even then, God dog it, that brings up the question of would there be people out here if it was daylight? I have to come back through this area. Annoying. All right. Can I get in here? This door is locked and barred, preventing entry. All right, something else I have to check when daylight comes. That's fine. Hall of Records. Doom, doom. Anybody out? Anybody out? Royal Guard, Royal Guard. Make way, commoner. Can't you see that Lady Majala is trying to come through? I beg your pardon on this unworthy person's behalf, my lady. Thank you, sir, but this... uh. Commoner is actually a friend of mine. Oh, really? Really? He's not holding you hostage or anything like that, is he? No, not at all. But we do have urgent business in the Hall of Records. May I? Of course, my lady. You and your friend are free to come and go as you please. <laughs> Interesting. If you say so. Okay, so it does let us in here in the evening. All right, so maybe uh, you need to absolutely make sure that you have her with you. Seems like the quest can't really continue without her. Oh, there's a lot here. Um, that's an identify scroll. Out of my way. That's the armor scroll. Another identify scroll. My lady, it is good to see you. And you, record keeper. I know you are a busy man, so I'll get right to it. My friend Samori Sykes needs information about a certain nobleman. I know if anyone can help us, it's you. Very flattering, Lady Bajala, and also very correct. What do you wish to know? What is the fate of Lord Espen? Dead, I'm afraid. Killed in a raid on his estate just as the war erupted. What happened to the Aspen estate? Sacked by Darren Gold, the savages. The King's scouts reported no survivors, and worse, some dangerous creatures have decided to make it their den. The Crown cannot spare the manpower to clear them out, 
So I suppose it shall fall to the heir or heirs who claim the estate after Lord Espen's demise. Well, uh, <clears throat> the disposition of the Espen estate is, of course, confidential. I am legally bound to discuss that topic with no one who isn't directly concerned. That is to say, blood relative only. Um, I only discovered after his death that Lord Espen was my father. Well, that is interesting. Espen did have an heir, a son named Aldnar. But there's no way for Aldnar to claim the legacy since he quite decisively turned traitor to the crown. The matter of the patricide makes him doubly damned on that account. My sympathies for your loss, by the way. See, this guy knows how to react when someone tells you your father's been murdered. He needs to give some lessons to the guards at the gate. <laughs> Thank you. Can you help me claim my title? Did Lord Espen never recognize you as his son when he was alive? Um, no. No matter. Ooh. We have a record of every noble title and line and knighthood in Ismarald right here in this building, going back centuries. I merely need to locate the correct document confirming your claim. Shouldn't take more than an hour, providing I don't get turned around in the stacks. Make yourselves comfortable. Perhaps you would like to peruse this treatise on the correlation of grain supply with the number of offspring in noble houses. <laughs> okay. He's going to walk, do what he needs to do. And, oh my, 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 oh my. Record keeper, are you ill? I feel dreadful, my dear. Oh, yes, I do. It's all quite troubling, very troubling. What did you find? What did I find? It's what I did not find that is so vexing. There is no record of Samori Sykes' birth at all. Oh no, isn't it frightful? I don't recall that I've ever searched for such a record and found an error like this. This whole house rests on the concept of a complete genealogy of noble lineage from the highest of the high, his majesty, to the lowliest count. But what does this mean? Ah, yes, you. Let me set aside this blow to my life's work. <laughs> to my very big. <laughs> yes, let's put that down and return to your very urgent request. If you wish to claim the title and estate of the late Lord Espen, you must find documented proof of your lineage. And if no such proof is available here, it must be found on the estate or nowhere. Return to me with the correct documentation and I will see that you are recognized as Lord Espen's son and heir. Interesting, okay. So we gotta return back to the estate that was completely ransacked by my psycho half-brother. Interesting. Or in fact, I don't even know if he's half-brother, right? He could be full brother, now that I think about it. Defense. All right. Boom. Boom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let me save in case they catch a fit. What? And that's okay. Hey, 20 coins. If you say so, we're thirsty workers. I already cleared those, right? But I still need these. And identify. What is the point of those identify scrolls? Have we run into uh, an item yet that we were not able to successfully identify? It's probably something I'm missing. It's probably me, y'all. It's probably me. I probably just don't get something that's happening. Is this all one piece? No, it's not all one piece. What's this? Containment. Identify. That's one. 
Okay. And that should be the whole of it. All right. So, I, oh, and that's the only one I need to talk to, right? All the rest are just regular scribes. Yep. Okay, cool. Let me look at what I picked up real quick. Wait a minute. It's not letting me scroll, but I know. I know I picked up more than this. Wait a minute. I'm going. I swear. Yeah, okay, I picked that up. What in the hell? What's that about? I swear that there were others. I'm listening. Oh, 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 oh. If your stuff is full, it just automatically goes to another party member. Okay, that's fine. I'm good with that. Okay, those recipes. What is this scroll? Ex Machina. The spell envelops this target with divine energy, preventing them from becoming sources of incoming attacks and harmful effects at the cost of preventing the target from performing any such actions as well. All right. To the rescue, in danger, a summoner can call out for help to the creatures they previously summoned. All creatures summoned by the caster gain anticipating and indomitable, as well as taunting any hostile creatures in range. Well, we know we should have access to that. Oh, that's the other thing, right? They probably need to have it in their inventory if you want them to be able to use it. Does this help you? Yeah, that seems much better than the armor that you have right now. A little bit less slashing, but better at everything else. We'll let you have that. That way I don't have to catch the heat. And we'll give you all powders. Take it, take it, take it. Aim and act. Oh, yeah, that's for gold users. Um, have that. Boom. Those are all the powders we have, right? Is there anything? Yes. Is she drying something? Collect? Nope, they're not ready to collect yet. Okay. Where's the fight? Out of my way! Out of my way! <laughs> okay. Visit the embassies on the right. And then there are a couple of more spots in this royal area that we need to go to, right? We'll see if they're as large as these other ones. And then we will head out. We will go to that Hello. screaming. Ooh, you come here. Hello. Lord Alfred. Hey, you. Yes, you. Come over here. I seem to have forgotten my scroll of invitation in the Hall of Records. And I have a very important meeting shortly in the Royal Palace. I can't just barge in without it, can I? Make yourself useful. Go fetch it for me. Okay. That's what? interesting. Doom, 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 doom. We'll go to the screaming place and we'll go back to the estate and see if we can reclaim our father's legacy. Out of my way. How do you know where this dude's thing is? Is it back here somewhere? Assume it would be. That assumption could be wrong. Actually, now that I think about it, I searched around so thoroughly, what? I might have already picked that thing up. But no, I would have noticed that. Now that I think about it. Because I read, I looked at everything I picked up. Yes, yes. Boom, boom, boom. Dude, where is your little thing? I don't have all day for this. Then again, maybe I screwed myself over by starting in the back. Maybe if I started in the front, I would have already found it by now. Fast. Sorry, y'all. I keep not noticing that the fast is uh, turned off. Okay. 
what in the hell? Did I already pick it up? Actually, now I think about it, am I supposed to talk with, uh, no. Where the will? Did I, if you did say I already so. pick it up? Let me check with him. Wait, let me save as well. Just in case he says you're useless. I want that XP. One of my party members has got to be close to leveling up. have it all along where have you been have you found my scroll yet it is of utmost importance that you bring it to me if you don't your lord will not be pleased to hear about your insubordination towards lord alfred could you tell me where to look for your scroll lord alfred you never told me where you left it i have not the time for your silly questions i am sure you can find a scribe inside to pester be gone okay what? So I don't have it. My way. Mm -hmm -hmm. Are you supposed to talk to the scribes to get it? Somebody take my quill. Out of my ah, way. Did I miss one? Stop that. Chill out. Oh, wait, maybe I have to talk to the scribe all the way here in the back. Someone take my quill. Is it on like a table or something? No. Not there. 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 All the way back here, nothing. Make sure, not there, nope, not there. Around that corner, yep, nothing, nothing. Now, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. I'm yes, sure it's yes. me, I'm being dense about something. Ah, uh, and back, back, back. Oops. Did I hit that table before? Ha ha! Scroll of invitation. There we go. Sheesh. My bad, y'all. My bad. That blue for the table just blended in with the bookshelves for me. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it did not light up when I originally went through that area. So I think you got to get this quest first. Before they'll let you pick it up. Out of my way. I'm listening. I blame the king. What? I did find it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's because I didn't what? select everybody, yes, right? Yes. Now Hello? talk to him. What? Are you kidding me? I picked it up. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Where's the will? Yes, I'm confused. What? Let's you go back. So. I was absolutely certain I I clicked on it and picked it up. Did I not? Out of my there? way. What the hell? <laughs> Did I not click it? I had to have. But whatever, we've got the little ding. The quest is updated now, finally. Let's send that Lord along his way. Find hmm. Lord, whatever your name is. I have found it, Lord Alfred. Here it is. I found it, Lord Alfred, but you know what? I decided to keep it. It's a rather entertaining scroll. What? 
is it? Scroll of Invitation. A fairly usual scroll bearing the signature of King Villian Rick. While it looks rather mundane, it might still hold value to someone. Okay. I blame nope. the king. Here it is. Finally. You sure haven't been taught what quick and efficient means. Off with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And hey, it's morning time. Let's go over here and see if this is available now. Oh, way. And nope, barred at all times. Okay. Now let's also see. Is anything special open up from here? Let's just be sure. Probably not, but if it does, it's opened up now. And let's go ahead and go over here. Alright. Rillo Merchant. Hmm. I want to talk to her real quick. Oh, Rillo Merchant, Hello. Rillo Vendor. I have to admit, you Westerners know how to build a city. You do not recognize yes. me as a fellow Rillo. Keep your eye, an eye on your pockets, my friends. I heard the beggars are always around for Arch. Yes, <laughs> yes. What is in here? Out of my way. And the cigar does not care about me losing the place. What's this? Like a storm through the wastelands, you begin to move with vicious grace. Increases allied characters' movement speed and aim and accuracy by 20% within 10 meters of the caster for three rounds. Interesting. I'll take that. I don't know what those names are saying. You're just, you're a scribe. <laughs> Hello. And you. Peace be with you, traveler. I represent the nation of Zide Suda in Isselbright. Do you have any questions I can answer? Just please, don't ask about the Rillo. What does the name Zide Suda refer to? Ask to whom instead? Our nation bears the name of our ruler, Zide Suda herself. The name is a declaration, a tribute to her reign. It's the name the gods gave our leader. It passes from ruler to heir. Zide Suda has the final say in all matters in our nation. She takes no sides and makes a decision seeking absolute justice. Her words are guided by the gods themselves and her people value that above all else. The ability to do all that, that is the essence of the meaning of Zita Suda. What can you tell me about culture in Zita Suda? The people of Zita Suda value tradition, devotion, and honor. We believe in the power of true words and righteousness over cutting corners and schemes. There might be some tusk individuals in the vicinity who do not share our ideals, if you catch my meaning. He does not seem to recognize me as a, as a Rillo. <laughs> Back in our lands, we are talented artisans of masonry, masters of swordsmanship, or poets and prophets in one body. Ours is a culture of balance, respect, and decency. Much of what was lost during the last decade, but what was lost can be rebuilt. All of Yeringal will marvel at the greatness of Zitasuda when it is whole again. What's the matter with Rillos? <sighs> Here we go again. So, the Eastern Empire has attacked and raided our nation. I assume you heard of that? They are not overly conservative about their expansive habits. They conquered the southern regions of Zitasuda and caused a decade of pain and suffering to our people. The integrity of our culture was broken. Much of the people lost their resolve. The grudge we bear will not go easily. A treaty was achieved in the end, but relations between our nations will never be the same. The Rillos crossed a line when they breached our holy lands, and they will not be tolerated until we have reclaimed what is ours. Isabright was found to be a suitable neutral ground for negotiations, but we keep our distance. Thankfully, the Northern Realm set their embassy up between our buildings. 
Wouldn't want a Rillo to be my neighbor anytime soon. I'll leave you to your work. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Also, we're imperialist? Jeez. Hmm. Um, yep, I already read all that. So they both say the exact same thing? Okay. Yes, yes. Northern diplomat? I blame the king. Welcome, traveler. Care to learn about the northern realm? Interested about the great ice dome, maybe? Who governs the northern realm? There's no single ruler on the northern realm. It is governed by the twin cities of Frinagar and Riznagar. Our philosophy is built on codependence and working together, but it does not always go well. Peace is formally upheld by a powerful being called the Keeper of the Peaceful Winter. He rarely has to do anything about it, but when he does, it's spectacular. That's what happened in Freynagar. What ice dome? The ice dome over Freynagar. In recent years, some tension rose between Freynagar and Riznagar. The governors traded some foul words until finally Freynagar made a forceful move on Riznagar. That was when the keeper of the peaceful winter stepped in and erected a great magical ice dome over Freynagar as their punishment. Most of the city is covered by it. They have been trying to get around it for over a year now. What is the northern realm like? It's situated to the north of Ismarel. It's where the snow becomes a permanent sheet over the earth, where pine forests take over the place of all take over the place of all other trees. It is cold but bearable. Us northerners learned how to tame that land. Moving to the north from there, you arrive at the land of the Jotnar. Now that place is cold, even for us. I'll let you get back to your work. Farewell. Do, do, if you say so. Embassy guard. Dust of feverishness recipe. What? Ooh. Short sword and a pristine ruby. I'm listening. What am I? Where's the wheel? Oh, yeah, there's a, a ruby. Where's this? Oh, there it goes. Identify. Plus one percent to critical chance. Chance to inflict burn on hit. Dealing one to three heat damage. Chance to inflict itch on hit target. <laughs> that sounds that sounds terrible. <laughs> awesome. All right, and we already have that, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Thirsty work. Yes. Where's the? I'm going. And wait, 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 wait. There's an ambassador in this room. Okay, so this person's just a scribe, but you're an actual ambassador. What's that? Doom ripple. The cast of this spell commands a wave of thick sand to rush forth in a target direction. All targets caught by the wave take pulse and blow damage and gain knockdown. I'll certainly take that. Something you want bashed. Ooh, shield. Go ahead. Small shield. Doesn't look like it works as well as the shield he has. Let's see if the next party member I get is one who uses shields. Maybe. What? We'll keep it around for you. Obscuring smoke recipe. Thirsty work. Yes. Boiling. So you get a lot of recipes. But do you get a book or something that allows you to manage Where's it? Where's the fight? Or do I have to always try to find the specific scroll? Oh, crap. My force lock doesn't work on that. Where's the wheel? There's All a... right. So what's yours? Need? How about yours? I couldn't remember if he Something had a higher score. Bashed. All right. So we finally really, really do need a thief. <sighs> Hopefully the f next one is a thief. Mm -hmm. Peace be with you. I am Ambassador in Rinya, the word of the people of Zidasuda and Ismarel. My work has made me terribly occupied, I'm afraid. Feel free to ask my diplomats inside our embassy, however. They will surely answer your questions. Okay. If you say so. Dun, dun.
And then, so they said there's an embassy from the Northern Kingdoms in between, and then the last one is Rillo. I wonder what the Rillo will have to say about them. They're weak, that's why we took them. If they were stronger, oh, then lands would have been taken. Did you know this? No, are the Rillo finally being welcomed into Esmeralda? Is Harley, tariffs have been increased again. Oh, so we're not respected here? Interesting. Ambassador. What? Ooh, ring. What's that? Oh. I'm listening. Plus two focus. Grant snow once per day. Yes. This one. What does this do? Grant snow. Oh, you already have that. Okay. Well, yes. What about you? Can you make use of that? Let's find out. Yes, uh, Hello. Greetings, my friend. I am Hroniad, ambassador of the Northern Realm. If you wish to know more about our land, please speak to one of my colleagues. They will gladly answer any of your questions. I am afraid I have my hands full with the war going on. Now, if you'll excuse me. Embassy guard, embassy yes, guard. Yes, yes. Subscribe. Who was that? Glacial Rush. One of the most devastating spells from the arsenal of winter mages, this spell conjures a huge slab of ice above the target that is slammed down against them with sheer force. The target is dealt cold and pulsing blow damage, as well as gaining brittle and concussion. All right, interesting. We'll definitely take that and that. And what's this? Frost Giant. Transforms the user into a frost giant for 30 seconds. During this transformation, the user is unable to cast spells, but gains natural armor and a large bonus to physique. Well, well, well. Hmm. Welcome, traveler. Care to learn about the, oh, the Northern Realm? Oh, no. I don't need to know about that. What's yes. this? Rillo Diplomat. Welcome, traveler. Care to learn about the lands of Illinois? Why are they called the Eastern Empires? Wouldn't that make just a single great empire? We get at that asked a lot, that's for sure. The lands of Illinois are far, far away from Esmeralda, and he rules over many nations. Us Rillo are just one of the many. Hmm. The people of Esmeralda named them the Eastern Empires, for short. You don't want to learn all their names, that I believe. Can you tell me about Illinois? Elon Waiter is our creator, lord, and guiding master. He guards over the endless deserts of the east, along with the many oases that are scattered over it. He defines our way of life, gave us our desire for exploration, but he is also a strict ruler. Breaking his laws carries serious consequences. What are those lands like? Endless waves of rolling dunes and verdant oases, as far as you can imagine. They make up most of it, at least. Mountain ranges, seasides, and even some dense forests also make part of it, but you need to travel a lot to see them all. I'll leave you to your work. May Illinois guide your path. Interesting. I and blame you the, the same king, thing, right? Okay. If you say so. All right, one more of these, and then we move on to the next area. Interesting. Oh, that's what I meant to do. Look at the world map and see, are they we supposed to visit all these regions? Or is it one of those things where they tell us about places that, in the hopes that there'll be a sequel and you'll visit those lands at that point? Let's see. I told you before, I'm a map guy. I love seeing, getting, okay, so the Northern Realm, this is the domain of Jotnar, which you talked about before, too cold for him. And then this is Zitasuda. It seems like a sizable portion of the area. I can't imagine we don't go here. Okay, cool. So we're meeting the diplomats of the areas that we will eventually move into. Awesome. 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 That is way. quality world building. All right. I'm with it. What's this? Embassy of the Eastern Empires. 
And of course it's locked. God dog it. All right. Out here. I wonder if the market has the only inn in town or if there are other areas of the city that also have an inn. So, Warden Half doesn't look like it has an inn. Gray Bear Bark Square might. Let's visit Warden Half real quick. Let's see what's there. If there's an inn there. Ooh. That's cool looking. So, but that's not the main cat. Well. So we just came from the area with the palace. So what's this castle looking area? I don't know what Warden Haft actually means. <laughs> but looking at that photo, I don't think this is a place where we're gonna find, whoa. Is that the way they're supposed to look? Warden has Sentinel. All right, these are Sentinels of Magic. Okay, there's, there's some things going on here, clearly. Warden Half Academy, and the rest of it is just open ground. This is definitely a place I need to be at during daylight hours, because I don't know who might be standing around. Out of my so we'll way. have to come back here. Then again, I don't know who might be standing around during the evening as well. But you know what, you know, we're here. Let's see what happens. Um, Hello. I would tell you what I am researching, but it is simply beyond your comprehension. Interesting. Can I go in? Yeah, I can. All right, fine. Let's go and see what happens. Ooh. Okay, so this is like where all the magical studies occur. Interesting. This seems like the kind of place where we get a party member, even though we've already got two magical party members, but hey. Let's see what happens. At the very least, there should be some awesome scrolls and somebody who we can finally start selling some of this stuff to. I've got way too much crap laying heavy, weighing me down in my inventory. I need to remember to do that. Visit a store if it doesn't automatically have you go to one. All right, you cannot talk to the city. Out of my way. Who are you? Greetings, sir. I apologize, but the Warden and Half Library is restricted to members of the college. How can I get access to the library? Well, you would need to enroll as a student or a professor at Warden Half could grant you a dispensation. If a member of the college accompanied me, then I could access the library? Yes, college members are allowed to bring guests, except under unusual circumstances, such as when said member's access has been modified or restricted or said guests are particularly disheveled. <laughs> I see, then I shall return when I have access. Very good, sir, until that happy day. So, is this whole place considered the library? Hello? Don't anyone dare interrupt me. I am immersed in my studies. Yes, yes. Please, stay off the library. Okay. So, can't go in that direction. Ah, uh, there's an upstairs. I can go here, okay. <laughs> That's helping hands. That's super cool. Okay. Fire sickle, top right. Stone sickle, bottom left. Must keep focus. And who are you? I blame the king. Ain't you a lively one? Which way to the market? If I had to guess, I'd say try the palace. <laughs> if you say so. They got a thing about the palace around here, apparently. Hello. My examinations are just around the corner. I study so hard, but is it enough? Let me open it. Or 
or is it just can't get past him or is it locked it's just locked and it's not saying it uh it's not saying i can't Where's get past thirsty master hello go find an initiate to teach you some flashy cantrips adepts have no time to waste on trivialities interesting Ooh, another candle Sell that. What's in here? Take. Take. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh. Novice robes. Uh, I'm listening. Right. Yes. And nope, looks like those don't help. Her. Yes. Probably don't help you either, right? Nope. So that's wash, but I'm well. going. I'm going. Um through here. Can I go over here? And over here. Nothing in the barrel. Helping hands are stuck. <laughs> That before that's an ingredient will you let me click on that there we go and nothing there either sell the pelts that's another thing too hopefully the other place is more vendors oh and when I finish those quests I'll be able to access I assume the inventory of some of those vendors who otherwise were not interested in speaking to me so that should help as well Right? And it looks like there's a downstairs to this. Let's see what's in the basement. Is that where the necromancy is performed? Let's see. Helping hands. Barrel. Okay, yeah, there is highlighted. Just stop being highlighted before. All right, so from there, who slowed? Cared too much. I'm listening. Yes. Ooh, you don't have much left yes. either. All right, we really need to go to um, what? A shop owner. Yes, yes. What is this? Helping hands, Warden Halt Master, repair tools. Open up. No, it's not doing Where's that. Where's the wheel? Doesn't need me to. What? No, it doesn't seem like it. If you say so. No, it's not popping up in yet. And yet, it doesn't let me loot it either. All right, I think that there's stuff. Can I hmm. talk to him? Fine. Nope. Same deal. Oh, that's a golem they're beating on now. <laughs> this golem, I be it still under construction, looks rather intimidating. Sheesh. All right. Back upstairs, and then let's go up the other set of stairs. Okay, so this section specifically is the library. Interesting. And I assume somewhere out there is a party member that's going to allow us to get past it. Or hey, maybe when they make us a noble, they'll say you have access to everything in the city. Doubtful. Doubtful. 
I'm really, really curious how many party members you get. That's a big thing with me. Out of my oh, way. way. Oh, that's a new thing. What? Excellent. Oh. Take all that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Where's the wheel? Um, yes, sir. Get all what? my arrows. Where's the fight? Something Go ahead. bashed. Just load. Interesting. Oh, yep. Better. And not better. I'm listening. Hmm. Not better than that either. Interesting. And this is the same stuff, so nothing to do there. Okay. What? That's interesting. Yes, yes. Wow, there's a lot going on over here. Marvelous. I haven't seen one of those before. Yeah. Go. Candle. What? Um, nope, you have nothing to say. Get out of my face. Illness. Voice in the in the woods. We read that, right? Yeah, we did. All right, so that makes it official. Definitely can sell books. I blame the king. Yep, saying the same thing as usual. Okay, helping hands. Helping hands. Lock. Open. Where's the wheel? Yes, sir. What? Nice. What is this? Calm. By channeling their own concentrated spiritual energy into the target, the taster can strengthen their mental posture and restore their spirits, remove panic from the affected target. Interesting. I'll take that. And we'll take something if else. You say well. so. Oops. Something thirsty works. It's in here. This looks interesting. Nice little sitting room. All right. I'm really feeling this whole area. Hello. What are you? Animator. Okay. I think that's the same type of guy we talked to right before we entered into here. What's this? Clarity. Cast summoning. Okay. Cast summoning again. Whatever it is you want, I am very busy. Mendelroth. Ooh. Jala. Uh, hello? Hey. <laughs> very well. If we must do this now, what do you want? I've been trying for days to find the source of that ferocious mildew smell, and well, it seems to lead here. <laughs> um, I'm not Lord Espen yet, but you know what? My title is Lord Espen, but you may call me some more Sykes. I've been taking a tour of the college. Yes, yes, but is there something that you specifically need from me? I am keenly interested in arcane lore, and as everyone knows, when an ounce library is the best in land, it seems you suspended my first library privileges, Lady Vajala. I wonder if you might reconsider. Oh, is that what happened? How did I know that? She didn't mention that her library privileges have been suspended. Did I miss that? All right. It seems you suspended my friend's library privileges, Lady Vajala. I wonder if you might reconsider. Ha! Thank you. I needed that lab. Any friend of that witch is no friend of Warden Hoft. Witch indeed. Pity no one's invented the right word to describe you yet. Professor Mendenroth. I understand she was very disrespectful. It's a common failing of youth. But, she, but must she give up her education because of this one rash act? You and I have nothing to discuss unless Lady Bajala comes to me and apologizes herself. To my satisfaction, mind you. 
when Rothgo lights the candles in the Temple of Almerius. All right. I didn't mean to antagonize you, sir. Can we discuss my other reason for coming? Yes, well, what? Pray tell is that. I am keenly interested in arcane lore, and as everyone knows, Warden Hall's library is the best in the land. That is well and good, but we can't have any old souls stumbling in here and getting their dirty paw prints all over our rear works, hmm? Accepting faculty, which you clearly are not and never will be, the library is restricted to students or someone with a special dispensation. You could also enter as a guest of someone currently enrolled. I don't know who's going to help you with that unless I see Bajala in my office in a state of extreme contrition. This little visit may indeed turn extreme, but not in the way you hope. Hey, <laughs> I am considering enrolling in a course of study here at Warden Hall. Ha <laughs> ha, no. This is a school for spellcasters, by which I mean adepts of arcane magic. Not axe swingers, nor archers, no boot blacks, nor dung shovelers. Wow. Not, not dung shovelers? Accepting faculty, which you clearly are not special in succession. Yep, yep, yep. All right, what do I have to do? I could grant such permission myself, I suppose, but not without good reason. There must be some way I could earn it. Just tell me what I need to do. It's good that you're so eager, for this task is rather unpleasant. The school cellar has a very persistent rat problem, you see. Rid us of these resilient rodents and I shall submit your dispensation forthwith. Oh no, not that. The only reason he's doing this is to humiliate me. You see that, don't you, Samoy Sykes? <laughs> That's all? I can take care of your rat problem however I see fit. Naturally. Far be it for me to stand between a man and his calling. <laughs> yes, if that's what needs to be done, I'll do it. Ugh, oh, I feel sick. Godspeed. <laughs> Where's the okay. We'll I'm clear out worried. your rats, Gandalf. Don't worry. Whoa. What is going on here? Summon spider. Now this that that Ooh, cool. Hmm. Good, good. Alright. Interesting. What next? Plus one focus grants level four base spell slot. Interesting magic staff. Yes. That makes sense for you. Even though it does less, oh, it gives you less focus too though. Weird. But, and in fact, what you have right now gives you... Where's the freaking weapon? What does this give you? One and two? It's probably more important for you right now than a spell well, slot for so. something where you don't even have spells. And now uh, you're way down. I really, I'm really, really got ready. to get to a freaking vendor. There we go. I'll make it. Where's the will? Yes, yes. All right. Back downstairs, then back in the cellar, then all the way back upstairs. Out of my way. And I believe the cellar was over here, right?
All right. So next part is the seller, but that is it for me today. I think I've gone my limit. <laughs> I can already tell my wife needs uh, some time. So I hope all of you enjoyed the play session. I hope it gave you a better idea of what this game is like and helped you make a decision about whether or not you want to pick it up during early access. I don't like where I've stopped. I'd like to at least have the opportunity to show you all some fights with a full party. So I probably will do one or two more playthroughs just so that I, we can go through more of the game and I can show you what more of it is like. And then I can receive more feedback from you all about what kind of content for this game you would like to see. But again, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. If you did, please leave me a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.